Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters, Bandits, Corporations, and nobody loser types? Well, you don't know Skak Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malewan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache, is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps... Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward, uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind. He's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Froger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. You're free now. Go. Be free. Run. Oh, Run. Morning. What? Oh, I mean, good morning. Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Pong. <laughs> Anu. As I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. For the better, imagine, a way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I phased away. And also where they go. And also what happens to them. Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? You always seem so hesitant to put a timeline on this bad boy, so you know, two weeks. Wow. It is. Or it will be. Surely two weeks is enough time for a huge breakthrough, right? Probably, right? Sure. I should have said three months. What was I thinking? All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles? I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button? On the side? 
Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. So, for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, where did I put that iridium ore? You know, being absent-minded, messy, and disorganized are signs of a genius. I think. I hope. I don't know why I ever thought a Jabberman translator was a good idea. It worked, sure, but... It turns out all they want to do is fornicate and fling feces. What a waste of time. Would a clearer headed Anu have stored the iridium in here before calling it tonight? And would a clearer-headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? Hiding the key component to your life's work from yourself? <laughs> you are one eccentric scientist. Now that I look at the Jabberman translator with fresh eyes, I realize I may have made a miscalculation in the translation matrix. For all I know, they could have been spouting philosophy. Fong, do you happen to have the Iridium ore in your pocket? What? No, of course not. Why would I keep Iridium in my pocket? Your pocket just seems full. <laughs> oh, don't get cheeky with me, boss. Not unless you mean it. What? No. In the toolbox, maybe? My trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? Oh, got you. <laughs> Left the rare and incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? 
Maybe. Um, it's like it's singing. Like a siren song? Like a song of the future. A better future with less bloodshed. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not casually destroy it as a matter, of course. Like, like... Oh, you know. I know. Like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. AKA Atlas's motto. <sighs> no cruelty. No killing. No compromise. You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow! Timmy, that's reprehensible. It is? Yes. I'm reprehensible? No, you're not. I'm sorry. Just... That bit of programming is just a little heartless. Oh, I see. I think I understand. Timmy will remember that. Oh crap, did you break him? Uh, I'm learning so much today. Right, anyway, are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strongfork to inquire why our company's test subjects are somehow... liberated. I'm sorry, uh, test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Jabbers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call Go Jabber Grabber Time! What an interesting frequency! It vibrates at the speed of guilt! But you have no proof. The thing is, every use of credentials to access a security feature is locked. We have a record of your ID being used to open the cages. Someone else could have grabbed it. The other thing is, our security surveillance system filmed you doing it. If it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the jabbers those other times. Don't they deserve to be free? Oh, I'm not authorized to dispense ethical judgments about Atlas policies. Well, now that we've got that straightened out. Ah, Dr. Dar. You have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see. The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait, better not go empty-handed? Good luck. Octavio. Oh, Nedster! School's out already? Yeah! Hey, 
Papa Girardi! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! I, I need a new name for them! Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent! Yeah, I, I know. Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, you know, Octavio, it's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's Radon. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition trip. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Ooh, do they come in my favorite flavor? Please don't say. Free! <laughs> You're such a mooch. I'll see you there. Octavia. Ah, jeez! I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. Louis, what is wrong with you? Hiding dark alleys like that? I am not sensitive to disparities in luminosity. This seemed a perfectly acceptable place to stand. I acquired the publication you requested. You appear stunned. Did you doubt my ability to purchase this periodical? Or do you fear its contents? Yeah, sorry. This issue always makes me a little nervous. Come on, come on, come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion. And I'd like to think that my social influence has kept this city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. Getting on Forge's super successful Dirty 30 is a lifelong dream. It's irrefutable proof to the rest of the world that Octavia Wallace Star exists. That I'm a somebody. I know you're somebody. Yeah, but you're an assassination bot, which makes it weird. Perhaps you are disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. I pour my heart and soul, confide my lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Don't diminish my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job with money. 
Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got octavio Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Will I be... killing anyone? All assassinations will be done by me, as prescribed by the Assassination Bots Guild. We have a strong labor union. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons! A few. I'm working on it! and rat ass. Congratulations, Francine Miskowitz. It has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right. All right. Let's make it to 91. Get to work. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive attitude even though a Malazan space laser decimated your Froger shop and subsequently reduced its Echo Net Yowl rating by 3.5 stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. Your Yowl rating is now negative 3.5 stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. As soon as the insurance money comes in, this place will look good as new. Morning. Do not think about your malfunctioning TDR appliances, for which you still owe the TDR Corporation. 600,000 galactic credits. Do not think about the fact that these machines are also licensed from Tdor and thus cannot be sold. As soon as the insurance fella approves my claim to fix this place up, I'll have Tdor paid back quicker than a ch ch reload. Some guns reload very slowly. Thanks for reaching out, sponsor bot. You're my rock. It's a bad metaphor. If you're going to do metaphors, be better at them. Oh, connection's gone squirrely. Can't hear you. Talk later. Everything is going to be just fine. My new slaughter matic combat vegetable knife slices artichokes as easily as arteries. We're not open yet. And, Lore. How's business treating you, handsome? Not bad. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Want me to shoot them? It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger, so long as I've got some caffeine in me. Yeah, go for it. There are precious few problems a couple of well-placed bullets can't solve. They teach you that in the military? If by teach, you mean repeatedly scream at me, and if by military you mean mom, then yes. Right. 
Well, just tell me who to shoot and where to shoot them, and I'll have it done by end of business today. Thanks for this, by the by. Samesies. Uh-oh. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outy. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. Good morning. Welcome to Franz Frogerts. What can I get you today, hon? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. Here you go, sweetheart. Whoa, this looks incredible, Fran. I know, babe. Oh. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Mr. Strongborg's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. Apologize for the jabbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Dr. Dar, I'll see you now. Dr. Dar? Unfriggin' believable! Strong fork. Uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back if. No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra rare zero vault lander's figurine. Again. It's an investment. You know. You know. You know what? Forget it. N n never, never mind. Just, just come on in. Have a seat. Thanks for coming up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of you keep releasing jabbers on the ship! Again! You've got to stop doing that. And also, we're in space. We're all contained animals up here, Dr. Dar. Honestly, sir, I think this has all just been one big misunderstanding. Oh, yeah? Crazy. <laughs> Let's just get this all sorted out then. So silly of me. <laughs> Yikes. Did you not release a lab full of jabbers? Again? No. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, you did. You cost me a fortune. Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion powered giant robots who spend less money than you've wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my god, the Iridium ore. 
If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat, I wouldn't care, but... Now that is a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is no gun, Mr. Strongfork. This is my... device. Okay. This device. Gun. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going, keep going. I'm serious. This is exciting. The Cold Fusion Robot guys, they give a fun presentation, but it's always, you know, a little, a little much. This is the most powerful man-made creation in the world. You need this, and you need me. Ooh, assertive. That's good. It's wrong, but it's good. Sorry? Anything you develop on Atlas property with Atlas money belongs to Atlas, so I don't technically need you to have that. But like I said, the, you know, the raw energy, that's great. Right. Okay. Decent pitch. I give it a C minus. Enough to not get you fired. Yet. So, I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time. No? I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So, present! But I haven't. It hasn't. It's in progress, and. It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good, or you're fired. It's an energy manipulator, designed to move any tangible subject through space-time. Move through? Transport, yes. It's a phase-walk gun? It's a phase-walk device. A phaser. A phaser. Totally non-lethal, utterly decisive way to end any conflict. Wait. Non-lethal? Yes. So, to clarify, you have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you, from my disposal, to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death! Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? Show me. Show me, or put it on the desk, and leave my office! Okay. I, uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. <sighs> I am waiting to be deeply deeply impressed here. I mean, floored, really, at this point, and I... <laughs> I've seen some shit, so... Bar is high. It worked. It did it. It didn't kill it or blow it up. It just... It just... Went on vacation! Went away! That was a plant from the very first Atlas Biodome that I... It, it has sentimental value. That plant tried to kill me and Sasha on our first date. And it's also proprietary Atlas Bioengineering and worth like a billion dollars! Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very impressive. Now, you know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De-eliminate. Bring it back! There's no reverse switch, sir. It only does the one thing, so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. <laughs> so it's just... gone? Maybe. Maybe it'll find a way to grow out there. Maybe it'll, it'll put down roots and grow. It has to be kept in specially enriched soil and receive five daily feedings of a proprietary atlas mineral mixed in deionized water to survive being removed from the biosphere in which it was genetically engineered. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Strongfork! 
CEO of the Atlas Company. I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now is my time to shine! Let me assist you! Wait, 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 Timmy, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost, uh? <gasps> Rescue mission! You would do that? For me? Of course I would. Mr. Strongford! CEO of the Atlas Company. Doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Yikes. Yeah, well, that's a fair point, actually. All right. Dr. Dar, let's try this again. On Timmy. Timmy? Timmy? If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun? Device. That's designed to be non-lethal? That thing is really doing some damage. Thank you? Not a compliment. You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Oh my god, why? Oh, Timmy, where are you when I need you most? <sighs> You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO of Atlas Corporation. Well, well. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why, why are you calling me? You know what? Can you hold on for just a sec? Dr. Dar, you may go. And if it wasn't clear already, uh, you're fired. But, sir... <laughs> Susan, how they hang in. <laughs> Perky as ever, Reese. And you? Eyes and limbs all accounted for? Oh, yep. All good over here. Doing just great. Better than. Was there, uh, something you needed? You know the drill. I can't kill my targets until they say their full name out loud and I am able to confirm its match against the name in the database. That's where you come in. So you must get my target to say their full name out loud. I'm guessing from your line of work, you don't have a lot of friends. You are the closest thing I would consider a friend. I do not see you in opposition to my programming. It might be due to your frail build and anemic complexion. Super. What did they do, whoever you're about to kill? A man named Jamison Harwin kicked his neighbor's pet scat pup. So the neighbor contracted me to punish him. Well, I mean, did the skag do something to deserve getting kicked? Blaming the victim, Octavia. For shame. For shame. It's not that. Maybe it was self-defense. I said, for shame. Do you have any further questions before we begin the operation? Yeah, just one. What's your favorite flower? Posies. Posies? Posies. A single posy is worthless, but they're delightful in a bunch. Posies? Posies. Jamison Harwin lives in that apartment complex. You will use the buzzer for apartment three to get him to come outside. I will be waiting nearby, with death. All right, I guess he deserves it. Let's go. Yeah? 
Who's there? Hello? If this is some kind of prank, I'm gonna come out there and beat your ass. Hello! I'm from the Mega Winner Sweepstakes, and I'm here to inform you that you are a Mega Winner. Huh? I didn't enter any sweepstakes. Oh. Well, in that case, I guess I'll have to deliver this oversized novelty check to somebody else. Hey, where's the nearest oversized novelty bank? Wait. I, uh, I just remembered. I did enter that sweepstakes. I'll be right down. Well, I must admit, your methods are strange. It seems to have worked. Now you must get him to say his full name before I can fulfill the contract. No problem. Give it here, kid. What gives? I come all the way down here and you don't even got it? You better not be messing with me, boy. I got a hell of a temper. Oh, dang. I forgot it in the car. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, but before I go, can you confirm your full name for me? Yeah, it's Jameson Harwin. Now get moving! You just got L0U13. Did I do it right? Nailed it. Jameson Harwin, we hardly knew you, but you did seem like a real bastard. Well done. I have received payment. Here is your commission, friend Octavio. Ooh, cash money, make it rain! I'm meeting the Kuropakos, you in? I am indeed in. Though I still cannot fathom how you can eat food from a man who lives in the sewers and befriends Ratch. I use a lot of hot sauce? And that's how Papa Girardi makes a space calzone. Fascinating. I have an additional inquiry. You mentioned your past proclivity for stealing. As you know, many of my contracts have been for idiot petty thieves, such as yourself. Now, your sister. Anu. Your sister Anu disapproves of this proclivity and wishes for you to stop stealing. Are you heeding her counsel? It is a dangerous hobby, Larsen. I'm not Anu's pet robot. I do what I want, when I want. It's called free will. Know what I mean? No. Oh, Octavio. Hi. Louis? Let me introduce you to Diamond Danielle. A real thief and definitely not an idiot. Hmm. That's one way to introduce a friend. Sure. Greetings. Diamond Danielle must be a moniker. Since it obscures your real name, I have a 0% probability of killing you. Are you flirting with me, robot? No. Real charmer. He's working on his people skills. I am not. We're on our way to Pacos to meet up with Radon. Wanna come? Tacos? I'm there. You are not. We must ambulate there. Ignore him. How many times do I have to tell you to sweep behind the counter, Octavio? Killing me. Help you out in a sec. You want to help me? You'll give me what I asked for, and you know damn well what that is. Henry? Hank? What brings you around these parts? Same as always. You owe me for protection, and my price ain't budging. You know, usually a protection shakedown involves actually protecting a place. Didn't see you anywhere when Malawan was blasting holes in my store. Don't blame me for the whims of our corporate overlords. 
There's only one thing I want, and it's time to pay up. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can give you a lifetime of free Frogurt, Hank. Not at the rate you eat it. Why? Huh? Do it! Hey, do it, or I'm gonna kill you! That's how it's gonna be? I try to be patient. But you feed me enough frozen yogurt to keep me on a 24-7 sugar high, or I feed you the tip of this pick! Mm. I'm through asking. You're gonna give me what I want, or we're gonna have a dozen flavors worth of problem. You keep threatening me, and you're not gonna like where this conversation ends up. Mmm, sounds like somebody fell off the anger wagon. 90 days clean. You play your cards right, and we both might live to see 91! No, maybe... Maybe I just kill you and take this place over for myself. Yeah... Yeah, that'd be... pretty cool. And frankly, what'd be the difference? Huh, whether it be an ice pick to the eye, or slowly wasting away in debt to the TDR Corporation, you are dead! Either way... Face it, Fran. You failed. Maybe you could have been somebody once upon a time, but that was a good 10,000 Frogerts and a Malawan laser ago. You have got nothing! No. I'm sorry, that was too generous. You are nothing. No reason we have to get murderous today. Sure there is. It'd be fun. Now. Die quick. I'm hungry. That's a shame. You've come an awful long way just to die on an empty stomach. Now, you just stay here, and you think about your behavior. Me! <laughs> Here's hoping for a hundred, eh? You hush, or I'll break you into cubes and serve you in lemonade. Coming, dear! What am I gonna do now? Where am I gonna go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. What's Octavio going to say? The way we left things. <sighs> I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. <sighs> oh, hey, Anu. No big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick, like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. 
I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion with dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly lower quality than Atlas's. The whole shebang. So let's go. Could you repeat that? The sound of being fired is still ringing in my ears. It almost sounded like we're in the middle of an invasion. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strong Fork's favorite Frogurt place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well, I guess TDR smelt blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now, and it is hostile. Like, very, very hostile. How do you know all this? Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> it felt weird. Oh, crap. Hide, hide, hide. If you were keeping an active vault key somewhere on your space station, what would you hide it? Boss lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy, all right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. It's kind of crazy you don't mess with. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Reese Strongfort. We are here for the vault key and or your bloody corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career change? We've got some killer benefits. Gonna get a call now. Fired during a hostile takeover? Yeesh! Bet you can kiss your severance package goodbye. Oh no, I've got it right here. That door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. It smell like guilt and shame. Can your mommy bring a pack lunch? Resistance is highly frowned upon. Oh, it's frowning! <laughs> We're frowning. Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio. Uh, uh, yeah, he, um, he's... I mean, you both came out of that Malawan ordeal okay, yeah? He's usually able to handle himself, but he's... Well, he's sort of a small-time hustler. Wow. He gets into the middle of everything. Armed TDO guards are exactly the type of threat he'd mouth off to and then be executed by. Well, that paints a picture. Oh, God. Let him be doing something quietly indoors for a change. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet, but dirtier? There isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can, one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with a launch pod. Follow me. Hope your health is covered, entry wounds. You'd find out if you could land a hit. I'm trying. Don't be mean. Halt! Halt! Covering fire! Get into 
a launch pod without being noticed. By asking me to cause one hell of a distraction. You may not have noticed with your head buried in your research, but we're friends. This is what friends do. And besides, causing a scene, that's something at which I excel. Fong, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Seriously, I have a reputation to uphold. You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. Oh, and hey, take this for me. I don't want these TDR bastards getting their hands on my lucky vault lander. It'll be safer with you. Is this... you? Yeah, I won it in a stupid contest or whatever. No big deal, it's just like the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But whatever, just get out of here before I change my mind. Fong, thanks again. Right, so I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Hey, Tidior! I hear you're looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. Oh, quick question though. Are any of you allergic to jabbers? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. <sighs> Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming. I find eating to be both barbarous and disgusting. I will wait there and dispense expired motor fluids. I'm gonna go talk to Radon. Haven't seen that crazy son of a bitch in a while. Are you playing one of those insipid interactive narrative video games? No, 
This is my Echodex 4520, parabolic homing origin netwave emitter, also known as Pahon. What does a Pahon do? Everything! It's so much better than the standard Echodex. I can communicate with my pals, take and scan images, play executable programs, watch the big game. What is the big game? Which everyone is on. Anyway, the best thing about this baby is I had it jailbroken. Forget about your standard Econet, I'm coasting through the shadows. With these black market executables, I can gather all kinds of information about people without them noticing. Who is them? You know, corporations, man. Gatekeepers, suits, the squares. Those chumps can't box me in. I'm a disruptive entrepreneur. I use every competitive edge I can get. Sounds complicated. I prefer the simple life of learning someone's name and then murdering them. If you're to have me socialize here, I suggest you do me a simple courtesy. Perform secret background bounty checks on all your friends, so I don't reflexively fire two ion slugs into their brains. Even Diamond Danielle might have aliases with bounties. It's still the same brain when I fire slugs into it. Who's engineering schematics? I feel like I'm looking at him naked. You are. Ugh. Hmm. Sounds like this could be important. Would be great to fix this and get the latest news from the business world. I suppose a sniper turned thief would want to stay off grid. Wait, what's this? Another alias? Ten Pin Patty. She goes bowling under that name. Hmm, didn't see that coming. Outstanding bounties. None! Whew! <laughs> but she's been caught smelling used bowling shoes. Oh, really didn't see that coming. Aw, Paco posted a photo of himself with his ratchets. It looked cozy. V very cozy. Uh, I'm not sure this is 100% legal. Dude spots so many bombs. So many bombs. Hey, it looks like he also bought a piano. That's cool. 
No, it's a bomb shaped like a piano. Mm -hmm. Get over here, man. I need your help. Hey, amigo, listen. You haven't seen Juniper around, have you? Sup, Paco? Juniper as in your prized microbreed ratch? Juniper as the light of my life? The beat of my heart? The joy of my days? So, the ratch, right? Yes, man! She was here two minutes ago, then Raiden scared her off with his usual antics. Look, I cannot leave the cart. Be a ball and find it for me, please. What I'm hearing is find Juniper and I'll give you a free talk. Just bring her back to me. Hey, that wasn't a no. One Juniper coming up. She's a sweetie. Wretches are the galaxy's gift to Promethea. They're scrappy and disgusting. Hey, can I like you, fool? Yo! R Ray Dude, I okay, okay! I get it! Juniper! You in there, girl? That's a solid maybe. But how am I gonna get you out of there? If you wanted discretion, you shouldn't have hired an explosive expert. I hate to disturb a business call, but... Hold, please. This better be good. Oh, it is. I need your talents to help me free Paco's ratch. She's trapped behind a wall. And this ratch is my problem, why? Well, it isn't. But you get to explode things, and Paco will owe you one. Free tacos? Free tacos. Point to the problem. It's Radon? Hello? Hello? Right. As I was saying, when you hire Radon, you better expect a spectacle. One juniper, as promised. Oh, how the cutest little rat that ever was. Yes, it's my juniper, mi amor. <clears throat> Thanks, Ah. Uh, are you one essay? One taco, yeah. Uh, 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 hey, is that the new foreign model, right? That thing's a real deal. You got the jail broken, right? I got some executables that will knock your socks off. The first one is called Vaultlander Finder. That one helps you. Find Vaultlanders? Hey, <laughs> you're a smart tamale. The other is called Financial Organizer 2000. Well, that one... Organizes your finances. No, it hacks electronics. Then just pick the crappy name. Try it out on the radio. Dale.
pot. <laughs> this is one sweet executable. This isn't business news. Again, Atlas troops are already mobilizing in defense. Citizen militias are defending alongside them. I repeat, a TDR invasion. That does not sound good. No, it definitely does not. Oh, come on, not another war. We're still picking up the pieces from the last one. Welcome to Franz Frogert's. How can I help? You. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that Reba Fulfolia? Fran, oh my gosh. How long has it been? What brings you here? Oh, silly me. I'm here to assess the damage. I saw F. Miskowitz on the claim, but I naturally assumed you'd pass this place on to your kid or something. No, uh, unless you count Octavio. No, no kids. Or your husband, maybe. Nope. No. <sighs> just me, Reba. So you're still running your parents' Frogert store, just like back in school. That is adorable. You? <sighs> you look good. Right? I just got a promotion at the firm, and it came with quasi-mandatory plascrete surgery. I feel like a teenager again. Which is so appropriate, given where we are. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like I remember. Still the same exact Fran. Uh, thanks? <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. And oh my gosh, guess what? Remember that girl you had a crush on back in school? We got married, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've seen you since you activated that crazy mode on your hover chair. That was nuts. I do not use that mode anymore. So, my claim. Oh, sure. <laughs> no more gossiping, Reba. Work time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, please show me the damage. This is where the laser beam finally dissipated. Doesn't look that bad. Nothing a coat of paint wouldn't fix. Yeah, if only I had some money from an insurance claim. Oh, so I could buy some. Noted. A lot of debris fell when the laser hit. I've left it in place so you can see it. What a delightful justification for laziness. Aren't you a clever one? Silly little vault lander's toys. How kitschy. The jukebox is a little worse for wear, too. Looks broken to me. Nah, just needs a little of the old Fran razzle-dazzle. Ah! 
I don't like music anyway. See this? I call it the Malawan Skylight. This is where the Malawan laser beam cleaved right through the ceiling. Hmm, the claim says the hole is 5.2 meters long, but it looks like it's only about 4.9. Does that matter? Everything matters. Thankfully, I've been able to repurpose the basement as extra freezer space. Without it, I would have lost so much stock. Great! I love it when people show me all the damage that didn't occur. That's always super useful when assessing a claim. There was a bit of damage behind the counter here. The laser hit those two? Nah, that's just shoddy, TDR workmanship. Knew I should have bought Hyperion, but I didn't want to support Handsome Jack. Oh, you're one of those. Here you go. It's on the house. Free. What's a dairy free? I went through a lot of trouble to get one of these machines installed, but as you can see, the damage from the laser wrecked it. <laughs> Seems busted. Oh, it works. Just gotta give it some of that Fran magic. There you go. Just gotta know how to turn it on. you want to show me? Yes, just a few more things. Anything else you want to show me? No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. Let's see that back room. I don't think you want to do that, Reeb. There's an infestation back there. Of what? All kinds of nasty things. Jabbers. Ratches. Aw, oh, I like ratches. Poor people. Ew. Best just leave it be. You might be right, but I'd be derelict in my duty if I didn't check it out, just to make extra 100% sure I've seen all the possible damage. Um, wait a minute. Fran, your weirdness was cute at first, but now I'm remembering why we never invited you to stuff. Let go. This is gonna be awkward. I'm gonna kill you. He was trying to murder me. Hence the ice picks, I presume. And you froze him? Yeah. Francine Miskowitz, your insurance claim has been approved. Really? I thought you'd be, uh, I don't know, upset. He was trying to kill you. Frankly, I'm impressed you had the stomach to stand up for yourself. It almost makes me wonder if I should have been nicer to you in school. <laughs> nah.
Enjoy your money. If you're gonna freeze any more creeps, let me know. I wanna watch next time. Uh, will do. must approach this with level heads. We can't let these bastards take our streets. Not on our watch! I'm with you, Octavio. Let's take the fight to them! I'm gonna take the high ground. Mouthy weapon might prove useful. Read my mind. This weapon is not useful. How dare you! I am an official TDO weapon designed for TDO personnel only! You can't manhandle me with your filthy corporate and approved paws! You have no standing with TDO! And you smell like you're poor! Ow! Is that a good enough reason? Laying down the law. I like this, Octavio. Insurgents near the taco shop, closing on primary suspect. That functioning TDO comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. It 
It's not stealing if he's already dead. Truly a model of human decency. much. We should be safe here. I have ascertained that you are legally positioned within GDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation by terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Do not resist or risk escalating the situation. You have not uttered anything but have instead evacuated your bowels. Your bodily functions are both shameful and indicative of an escalation of the situation. I will now de-escalate the situation by ending your life! Wait! Wait! At least tell me your name! I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me! Oh. It's Hubert Hot Dog. Well, my friends all call me... You just got L0U13. Hubert Hot Dog. Assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tanko. There was a contract on him. Yippee! It's not safe here. We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. Hey, if you're gonna blame anyone, blame Paco's Ratches. Whatever the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. You're a real pal. We should go to France to lie low. And risk bringing Tedior to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill comm. Say! 
safety first! <gasps> New friend. Time to run! Friends! Really? Uh, I always knew the so-called cycles of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. <laughs> When you said we were friends, you meant... Us! But not... The Five Fathers! <laughs> yeah. Got it. What do we do? Run! <laughs> If you say so! What? No! Never mind, just force it here! <laughs> Got it! Hands in air! How animated! <laughs> you are super stressed! I think you could use a vacation! Siren? Scientist! Again! Again! Pretty girl, pretty kill! I'm not the killer, I'm just sending them on a little trip! My name is Anu. <sighs> Thank you. No! Anu saved us! What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! I started this day as a respected engineer with a dream and an invention that could make the world a less violent place. And now, I'm an unemployed murderer with nothing but the smoldering wreck of the car that I stole! Unemployed murderer! No! To staple face! You are Hero Girl! Who's 
steeple face. Oh, right. Of course. Today was steeple faces death day. Death day. Punishment for bad thoughts. Thought about becoming not psycho. Oh, is being a psycho something you can quit? Not without a death day. Ah, oh, got it. I think. But on who helped? No more death day. I have this, uh, small rock. I think it somehow rolled into my pocket during the fight. That be reborn day. It's identical to all the rocks currently at your feet. It's nothing, really. I thank you with my body. Thanks. I'd like to get down now, please. Thanks for that. Well, Stapleface, this has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? To find my brother, Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent, and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again someday. Yes! At an intersection! I'm back, by popular demand. You're late. I have a really good excuse this time. Uh, so, first thing, this is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. It is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, state your name, for the record. Not today, Killbot! Octavia, your friend seems nice. Whoa! Let's just calm down, all right? He's a friend, Fran. It'll be real awkward if we kill each other before the Tidior Invasion Force had a chance to. For Flip's sake! Another corp invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What kind of... Octavio, moment of your time. The killbot can wait up front. Fran. Just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? He asked for a lifetime supply again. Right before trying to kill me. And you let him live? <laughs> Maybe recovery is working. We'll see. Well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louis. At least he's programmed to mess people up. 
What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassin bots like that anyway? I taught you better than that. Oh, stop acting like you're my mom. Oh, I am not your mom. What's the damage? Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh, Franz Fogerts. Oh. The one with the negative 3.5 yell rating. Yeech. All right now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh, well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we kind of shot back. I think they might have sort of tracked us here. We'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating target. So you came here? I just... It seemed like the safest place. Safe for who? You realize the position this puts me in? Look. I'm sorry about this, but I need your help. When those troops get here, I need you to cover for me. For the love of the almighty robot police, man, you know what happens when they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look. Just... Make sure he stays quiet. <laughs> of course. No problem. I can't thank you enough. Thank me if I get out of this without a new set of holes in my head. No. The boy and the bot, where are they? Bot sighted! Hello. On your knees! Yes. Rebel apprehended! Well done, you're really, really good at this. Oh, thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Oh, thank goodness. You just missed him. He was covered in blood. He was trying to get in. I told him to shove off. If you hurry, you could catch him. Ha! Are you trying to bluff us? Ha! 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 We tracked the signal from our communicator here. We know he is close by. Now, where is he? Prepare to fire! Preparing! Tell you what. You better get a kill shot. Because bullet wounds make me real angry. Firing! You are about to execute a TDO licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? We're Froyo machines. They're TDO brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come on! Ah! Uh, what are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! It's the... Oh. Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell! Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but he's being housed by this woman, and we wanted to shoot her, but she's a TDR licensee, and now our guns won't fire, and... Oh, damn licensee loophole. I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion. So, uh, we should just let her go? For God's sakes, use your imagination! If you can't shoot her, bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt stand down on their heads. Let the rubble kill them. I swear... I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanwyck. Let him deal with you idiots. Hold on a second. We're both business women. We can work this out. I mean, you don't need to trash my place. <laughs> I don't deal with little people. Huh? The hell's that supposed to mean? Oh, dear. Soldier, bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Huh. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. Beneath it, almost. Well, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I know that's not true. Hmm? Some things are just better than others. 
Some people are just better than others. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. Things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things, but that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. shop they destroyed everything bouncing banana blast <gasps> what have they done to you Louis Lou where are you come on pal you better just be looming somewhere like you always do Lou make a bad joke if you hear me How did the robot get across the river? In a rowboat. What the hell? Did you just stay there on your knees doing nothing? Did you just like not try to avoid the blast at all? There was no need, Octavia. I am built to withstand far greater shocks than the demolition of an already half demolished Froget shop. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. You risked your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! Ooh! 
I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Oh, yeah. That's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My work bliss is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis is right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing. It's getting weirder. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you hated it down here. So, what's gonna in the hood? I was worried about you. It's not safe here. Not safe? Here? There's an invasion going and you nearly got blown up and... Oh! You're making fun of me. Listen, I know things between us haven't been... Ooh, friendly, loving, respectful, existent, ideal. But can we please at least talk about this, not in the epicenter of an invasion? Putting aside her ego and ambition to look out for her little brother. Classic Anu. That totally tracks with you ditching me here, by the way. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say. Yeah, look like hell. You look like you rolled through a ratch nest. I've had a day. A fun day? No, a not fun day. A running for my life day. Ah, yeah, those days happen here. Look, I get it. You don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Caldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit. I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yes. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> oh, damn, Anu. You're a nice cold killer now! Shut up! Murder! Murder! If you don't shut it, I'll murder you! It's nothing to be ashamed of. Your bro has killed tons of haters in his day. It's all part of playing the business game. I'm not interested in whatever your business is, and I'm certainly not playing anyone's game. When you think about it, killing is just being born in reverse. Hi, dear. I'm Fran. This is Anu. Pleasure. Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Oh, uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. 
Incorrect. Louis, meet Anu, my sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We, uh, never had anything like that at Atlas, shockingly. Atlas! Oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No. Oh, well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. Atlas, mellow on TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want, you move on. You're the big people, and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I don't squish people. I left Atlas, I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you are hiring them. Well, sure. I don't believe you. If you just let me... Ah, tut, tut. You're an Atlas narc through and through. You'll say whatever it takes to get my trust, but I'll tell you something, Sally. Anu, you ain't gonna get it. Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. No. You trust him? What drugs are you putting in your frogert? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu, you know my stealing days are behind me. Friend sure does. Back me up, friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Well, he's never been caught stealing, and technically that's all that matters. Bam! See? They don't catch me, it never happened. Great. That's... that's exactly the sort of inspirational, ethical, moral compass I was hoping you'd have. Much like this last carton of cuckoo coconut, we take what we're left with. Oh, slag it, it's empty. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Yes, we just confirmed that you clearly, definitely steal. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like, a radio. It's those damn meddlesome teens. Teens? Teenagers? Yes, teenagers love to impersonate electrical appliances, like radios and blenders and sous vides. I am not involving myself in this. I once saw two teenage girls perfectly impersonate a dishwasher. That sounds highly degenerate. Maybe it was this. <gasps> what could that be, Octavio? I don't know. It looks like some sort of comms device. But who could have left it here? Maybe it was teenagers. It was not. Could be a teen's comms device for arranging dabs and spinnies. Those are not things. Oh, no. They are. Really? Fran, it's... Louis, stop. No, it's a TDR's comms device. Somebody must have dropped it. Yes, TDR. Yeah, probably. Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Ass off banana daiquiris. Well, let's hope command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device, whoever that is. Yeah, that's a daiquiri device, am I right? <laughs> they're looking for... A doomsday device? I think, and they think, there was a vault key being kept on the station at Atlas. That's what TDR wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before Tidior does, we can change our lives. No. No. No, 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 it's not worth it. 
Gidior has many guns, talking guns, guns with legs. We will be killed by all the guns. You went to Atlas to build something great. Obviously that didn't work out or they wouldn't have fired you. Actually, it was more of a conscious uncoupling. That is not a thing. Oh no. You never built your dream project because you never had real power. A real opportunity. But now we've got ears on a freaking vault. Whatever's in there, I guarantee you. You'll get an opportunity to build something great. To do something you were always meant to do. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you... Anu, how are you? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know... Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And, and that, 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 that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR is planning is going to be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was going to say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I got to run, because, uh... Bye, boss! Looks like they're going to... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! What's a Timmy? TDO has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals TDR comms. Got it. You definitely have not. Balking at the first sign of danger. She's just another spineless Atlas tool. She won't stand up for you. She can't barely stand up for herself. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? Boop, boop. Not unless the big monster guarding the vault is named Susan Coldwell. She wrecked my shop. Nearly kicked me off the wagon. Oh, that corporate butt sniffer and I have a polyamorous date with my punching fist. So many tragedies in one sentence. I've lost enough to know the most adventures don't have happy endings. Susan is TDR. She's the CEO, the big cheese. And we steal. It's not stealing. We lift the vault treasure from under TDR's nose. You sock a wallop to TDR, translate a property, you sock a wallop to Susan. Actually, yes, that logic checks out. Hmm. We've been through a lot together. When the yogurt was thick and thin. <gasps> All right, I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And Al Zero, you won three, makes four. I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's... nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds I've designed, programmed and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other, and scores your camaraderie from one out of ten skateboards. All sorts of data. Your speech, actions, how you look at each other, Personal hygiene. Why are you using skateboards to rate our teamwork? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Octavia. Data suggests that skateboards are more well-received than stars, hearts, thumbs up, and winky faces. The question you should be asking, why aren't we using skateboards to rate everything else? 
What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is... 4 out of 10 skateboards. You're all rude dudes with foul moods. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan. And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all. I find Zipper Ripper to carry the best athleisure wear. Agreed. And it's eco-friendly. Really? Yeah, something about the threading process and uh, free trade materials. Huh. We'll make something free trade. This is hopeless! Wait, they are telling us where TDR's heading. Zipper Ripper athleisure wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The light grow really supports my delicate too. The reverberations bouncing their voices. The faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you... If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. Well, let's quit dilly-dallying and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. <laughs> It is my useless rubble. Come on, this way! You've got a... Secret sewer exit built into your shop? Yeah. I... Okay. Cool. Yes. <sighs> if you see any bodies down here, pretend you didn't. Why would we talk about something we definitely won't see? Got it. Fuck. 
go. Good friend of mine. Shut up, moron. Decent friend. <laughs> Do you want to die? A acquaintance. You're heading into a battalion of TDR troops. How do you know that? Uh, I snuck a tracker into your clothes in Why case I ever he... needed to kill you. Stay quiet. Sneak. Don't run. Pretend you're on a stealth mission, huh? And that you're not an idiot. And if they catch you, make sure you die before you give me up, okay? Right. Weapons and equipment, no OSP. What? On-site procurement. Military stealth lingo. Ah, uh, you made that up. Going dark. TDR troops ahead. Gotta be sneaky. What? How? I I'm not a covert operative. Just stay low and follow my lead. We'll just, you know, stay quiet and avoid them all. Hold up, I love you, but I would never put the words quiet and Octavio in the same solar system as each other. You got a better idea? Oh. Soldier can't scream with a crushed windpipe. Wait! So, our options are to sneak around and pray nobody swats us, or quietly murder everyone we come across. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. I don't love unnecessary violence, but it does seem like Fran knows what she's doing. Yeah, of course. Totally understand. All right. Get behind me, and stay light on your feet, in case you gotta dodge any people juice. Ah! Okay. This is... okay. This is... okay. better follow. Oh, crap. Won't be able to cross the room without him seeing us. You can't, like, zoom up to him and knock him out? Chair gets loud if I move too fast. Everyone in the sewers will hear us. It's okay. I got an idea. I like the kid, but I gotta say, your brother has problems. Octavio, what are you doing? As long as I move only when he's not looking, he'll think I'm just a harmless little ammo box. Then when I get close, I'll distract him and we get past. It's streetwise. I'm streetwise. <sighs> I never should have left you alone down here. Here we go. Weird. Guy in a box. No! Oh. Wait, wait, wait! Just let me... Uh, I'm not who you're looking for. I disagree. Is... Is that a... No! It couldn't be! Not worth much in the market, but to a true Vaultlander connoisseur. My Vaultlander? You want it, it's yours. Just let me go. I'm not gonna take it. Vaultlanders must be earned. Through the right of glorious combat. You wanna... fight? Indeed I do. Will versus will. 
Voltlander to Voltlander! Oh! Okay. Beat me, and I'll let you pass without incident. As is the warrior code. But if I win, your Voltlander and your life are forfeit. What is he doing? Let's just grab him and... No. It isn't up to us anymore. Octavio must find glory in the truth of the figures. Only through plastic combat will our fates be decided. Why are you people like this? Ready? Ready. Come down! Select your ballwind. Fall. combat skills. Leave this place. I must gather my thoughts. Okay, we're, uh, gonna go this way. No more words. I said go. Your soldiers of questionable intelligence stand between us and the vault. Fran, can you take them? Is Frogert better than ice cream? Hold on. Are we sure about this? Never been sure before. Why start now? Even if Fran can take down three TDR soldiers on her own. If? The commotion could alert other TDR soldiers to our location. Or worse, can't use the key if we're dead. Can't do a lot of things if we're dead. If I'm not cracking skulls, what do you propose we do? There's some cover down there. We could try to, I don't know, get closer? We'll have to be extremely quiet. Yeah, it's a stealth mission! <laughs> Sorry. All this sneaking better lead up to some violence. It will. Probably. Just follow me and make sure they don't see you. No. Let's go.
an opening. Confirmed. That's an opening. Opening confirmed. You got the key. You go first. Oh, no, 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 no. After you. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Oh, no, no, no. Be, be, be my guest. Seriously, I insist. I see something. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. I think I've done it. Yes! It's opening. Yeah! Doug? Doug? No, wait. Isn't it Anthony? Anthony! Doug Anthony! It is now... Or never. Let's go, let's go. Wait! Oh boy. We better call for backup. Confirmed. Going for backup. Yes. <laughs> No sweat. Everyone okay? All good. Perfection! I'm sorry, Octavio. We can figure this out! They're just aliens! <laughs> More like robots. The Iridians apparently had them built to guard the vault before they pissed off to whatever dimension they're probably hiding in. What? I read. The point is, we are done. We'll be lucky just to find a way out of here with our lives. Whatever's in that vault, it's not worth our lives. Might be worth Octavio's. Hey, what is wrong with you, huh? Come down here, you'd rather trust a murder-happy stranger over your own brother? I'm trying to protect you. I don't need your protection. I've been doing fine down here. Oh, is this what fine looks like to you? Wait. <gasps> I got it. What's good, Ock? Paco, I need Juniper. What? Your ratch, dummy. Can she find me down here? Should. You got a musk. Then do it. What the hell are you up to? Ratches! They're tunnelers! They know every route into or out of a place. If there's a path that gets us into that vault without exposing ourselves, Paco's pet ratch, Juniper, will know about it. Good idea, right, Fran? Yes! That animal has zero right to be as cute as it is. I would follow her to hell and back. How about to a vault? Addle do, Ratch. Addle do. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Juniper is. Juniper's a good girl. Well, who wouldn't be a good girl for that kind of attention? Mm. I wouldn't. Not... I'm uncomfortable. All right, girl. We're counting on you. How do we get to the vault from here? Oh. 
Uh... It's all right. I'll find my own way through. You sure? I'm pretty sure this is the only path. I'm not convinced those Guardians aren't trying to break through and murder us all, so... I'll buy you two time. Fran, I, I don't think... You do, actually. Way too much. You kids get going now. I mean it. Fran, I... I said go. Right. We'll see you on the other side. should be seeing this. She could name a frogot after it. Like praline portal punch or top secret secret sauce. You're right. And should be here. Fran! <gasps> oh! Miss me? Effort, and Juniper just led us to the other side of this glowy arch thingy. It's quite clever, actually. It's a dimensional portal, so you can enter and exit it from either side. And on this side, the Guardians can't see us, so we have all the cover we need to... Do you want to explain more about vault physics, or can we go inside it now? Quiet. Too quiet. Is that... Should we be worried? Is there an Iridian sound eating device or something? Can you hear me? Calm down, it's an expression. You're an expression. As much as I like emasculating Octavio, we're on borrowed time here. I'm gonna go guard the entrance. Hey, why don't you use those fancy specs of yours to go find that doomsday device thingy? Oh, and some vault treasure. Ideally, both. There does seem to be some Iridian writings on the walls. And thanks to the genius of Dr. Tannis and these babies, I might be able to translate some of it. Roughly. Cool. Oh, I could use a Frogurt right now. Come on, on the town to get rich. Better translate this. Treasure circle. Guys! I think we hit the jackpot! Need a professional rune wall inscription service? Call Vinny and Polly's rune inscribers. You've got a wall, we'll put runes on it. Cave walls, defensive walls, even dry walls. No walls too big or too small for our runes. Call now for a free estimate. We also do ceilings. See?
We've come a long way, survived countless dangers, but we made it. Let's get our treasure! Garbage shower? Ah, uh, damn the brakes. Why would they even have a garbage shower? They are an ancient alien race. We will never understand them. I've looked at everything. I don't see anything that might be useful in making a doomsday device or treasure. Not ideal. Not even a chest of alien doubloons? Do aliens have doubloons? There's gotta be something valuable in here somewhere. My Octavio sense is never wrong. It's never right either. <laughs> so funny, wow. Maybe someone beat us to the treasure. Man, I can't believe we came all this way for Bobkiss. This is bullshit! attractive loser. That's right. You hear that, Susan Coldwell? You're next. You come after me, you gon' get God. Is it really dead?
Really? Okay, how would a scientist safely test whether something's dead or not? Probably probe it at arm's length, perhaps with a stick. Fran, you made that look easy! I mean, Fran totally murked that thing. You called me a loser. I am not a loser. You got it? Hey, of course you're not. I just thought we needed to see a little of that Fran fire. I won't tell your sponsor if you don't. I don't think it even counts. It's not like you really lost your temper. I just manipulated, directed you into it. As your heart rate did not rise above 120 BPM, your anger sobriety has been maintained. For now, dot dot dot. All right. You call me a loser again, and I'm feeding you this chip, and not orally. Hey, don't threaten me with a good time. What in the what? thingy it's got in its tongue. I don't think it's in its tongue. I think he's cradling it with its tongue, sort of protecting it. I mean, I respect it. That's some next level's tongue work. That's gross. And besides the point, I think it's healing him. We need to get it out of that monster's mouth. I... I have a plan. B, I was worried we were all gonna die. Now we're gonna die with a plan. That's nice. So, what's the plan? Let's hear it. Fran, you need to freeze that monster's tongue before it kills Octavia. Sounds good. Wait, what? You're the quickest, loudest one here. You need to occupy that thing so Fran can freeze the tongue and punch the shard loose. And what's your role in this genius plan? Relax and eat bonbons? I'll be delivering the coup de grace. You're gonna make a soup? I'll send the shardless monster on vacation. Ideally, to a dimension where it can't kill us. All right, we're dead. Okay, distract the vault monster, she says. Like, it'll be easy, she implies. Like, I'm stalling. Here he is. <sighs> you can do it. It's just a sprint around the old playing field, like when you were in school. If I die in the next few seconds, my last words should be memorable. Let's see. What are you waiting for? Get moving! No rest for the wicked. No, I can do better. No rest for the wicked. No. No rest. Fuck TV on. Right! Just give me time to get into position and then hide like your life depends on it. That means you and me, we gotta get moving!
Gross! Still alive. All parts accounted for. Glad you're alive, but you need to leave! Where is friend? In position! Great! Good luck, girls. Your turn. Uh, no. You need to keep distracting it! That thing nearly ate me alive! Yes! Great! Now I need you to get almost eaten again! <sighs> Kinda scared here. Me too. You'll run faster, scared. Go! <sighs> hey, ugly! Looking for me? <laughs> I need to reconfigure the settings and remove the safety. We're gonna need every bit of power this baby's got. From this thing now. Oh, Anu! Hi! I have so much to tell you about! Freddy! You and I are gonna have such an adventure! What you? <sighs> Vaulty? Come on, you two! Focus up! You wanted an opportunity, you got one! Now, Octavio, move those feet! They get to cheerlead while I run for my life. <laughs> Just one more lap, Octavio. Don't get scared now. Don't make me get scared now, Octavio! Oh, what we doing? That's right, keep running! Did someone order a vault monster? Well done! Almost there. Just a few more adjustments. Voyage. Enjoy your vacation to somewhere else. 
That's what your invention does? That's amazing. You just dealt with that thing like it was a moon and you're Lilith. <laughs> Wicked! Did. It's what my device did before I broke it, saving our lives. Still, that was some Vault Hunter siren type shiz, Anu. You're incredible. Thanks, Hawk. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! You all right? Uh, I think so. Your eyes went all weird. What was that? I was yelling, but it was like you couldn't hear me, and not in the normal way you pretend to not hear me. I don't know what that was. Should I be worried? Hey. We gotta get out of here, folks, before anyone or anything else gets in. Can't argue with that. Agreed, but I'm taking this with us. Right? That was... So we're like vault hunters now! We're a triple-digit body count short of being actual vault hunters, but it certainly seemed that we just managed to... defeat a space god! Bummer didn't drop any treasure, but we could probably sell that green thingy for a mint! I think this crystal is the vault's treasure. How's that? I don't know. Just... When I touched it, I... saw something. I felt something? Like something good, something, or drives you insane and you kill us, something? Not sure. Love that. I, I just got this feeling of power mixed with pain and desire. Please don't talk about desire. Sounds like my dating profile. If we can figure out what it does, we could... Change the world for the better. Get rich and famous! Kick Susan Coldwell's ass! Oh, right. Tidior, uh, they'll be looking for this. For us! Sure. But that means we got all the leverage. You two deal with the alien doohickey. I'm gonna focus on killing the corporate goons. They're an army. You're one person. Yeah. <laughs> Those poor bastards don't stand a chance. Look, what are we even worried about? Not a single TD or goon even saw us down there. What about that nerd with the dolls? <gasps> How dare you? A true Voltlander warrior would never break a bond fort in the fires of plasticine combat. Oh my god! I'm telling you, we're fine. They don't know a thing. As far as TDR is concerned, we were never there. Hey, I found something. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. What were we talking about again? Ah, the ding-dongs with the weird crystal. You see, when opportunity knocks, it's always tempting to open the door. But one must be careful of what awaits on the other side. And what walks through afterward. The doctor, the bruiser, and a man about town had secured themselves a mysterious treasure. And with it, the attention of many dangerous people. Namely, Susan Coldwell, chairwoman of the Tidior Corporation. But those were worries for the future. For now, they had to rest, regroup, and figure out exactly what they'd gotten their hands on.
What's with the long face? We just killed a vault monster. Oh, did he drop a fully furnished Frogert shop? Or a gun with bullets that seek out Susan Caldwell's brain stem? No. That's why I'm upset. Are we at any point going to talk about how you also murdered a bunch of Tidior guards? <laughs> Forgot about that. Silver linings. You are back, and you are alive. But you all look sad. Your team morale must be perilously low. Minus two skateboards. <gasps> oh no, not that. I am glad one of you is taking this seriously. Ah! Oh. Friend, next time you'll be the bait. No, I won't. No, you won't. You appear to be injured, Octavio. How? Oh, you know, you fight an all-powerful vault monster, you're gonna have to deal with a few boo-boos. Your word choice implies a possible concussion. No, that's just him. What happened to you all exactly? Tell me the story of how you did not immediately die. We nearly got killed. It was like 80% luck and 10% teamwork that we got out of there at all. An honest response that does not make you seem at all cool. But you respect me for telling the truth, right? Absolutely not. Lie next time. I respect it. You don't count. You don't count. Vault monsters typically drop treasure. Where is your treasure? I, uh... I'm keeping it safe. What are you doing? Wait, nothing happened to you when you touched it? No, like, visions? No. What? Never mind. This is an unknown, potentially volatile substance, and you're just tossing it around? Listen here, Missy. Yeah, Anu, calm. Do not tell me to calm down. Call me interested in talking more about this. What I meant to say was, uh... What? We can't run experiments on this thing? And what exactly are you testing by tossing it in the air? Duh. Aerodynamics. I thought you were the scientist. What's the big deal? It's just a rock. Oh my god! What are you doing? Beating your ass to keep away as per usual. Just be careful. We don't know what exposure to it or touching will do. If this thing was dangerous, the vault monster would have used it as a weapon. But it didn't. So we've got nothing to worry about. Ah, oh, my ankle! Oh yeah, that's broken. Oh, for... I told you to stop. That feels nice. <laughs> huh. That's weird. I guess I'm made of stronger stuff than I thought. No. No, you aren't. It's the shard. It, it, it healed you just like it healed that creature. <sighs> so, what does that mean for us? We're gonna be rich! I have to run a lot more tests. We have a magic rock that heals people. We went down into that vault looking for a way to get rich, and this is it! Now you have to calm down. We can't get excited about all this until we fully understand the variables. This little experiment might not even be repeatable. We can't be sure it'll heal every wound every time. Sure we can. Knock. What are you doing? Being the man! What? Don't be stupid! No! No! I'm not the man! I'm not the man! That's for sure. <laughs> I also concur. And heal! And heal! This is why I said we needed to run more tests! When will you ever learn to be more careful? It's working. It's working. <laughs> I've learned nothing. Oh man, the 
pain went away completely. I got full mobility. Hot damn! Okay, that's great, but now, shoot me. What? Don't! I cannot stress enough how moronic this is. <gasps> Man up! This rules! Do me again! Do not! Do not, do not, do not, do not! Try this thing. I don't. Uh, come on! It's all kind of <laughs> exhilarating. I'd really prefer not to. Hey, how are you gonna test this thing if you haven't been on the other side of it? Just shoot somebody! It's just all the shouting makes me nervous, and I probably shouldn't have a gun if I'm nervous. Come on, stop being such a stick in the mud and live a little! I. Okay! You're right! This is a serious bastardization of the scientific process, but uh, we're learning, right? Don't be such a stick in the mud on. I guess for the sake of science. What'd you do that for? You said to shoot somebody! Somebody made of meat, you shot a robot like some kind of monster! How do you feel? I feel nothing. It's what I always feel. It doesn't work on bots. Well, I mean, now we know that. Th that's useful data. Yes, and here is more useful data. Minus one million skateboards for neglecting to shoot one of your human companions. Yanu! Great, now we've lost skateboards, which I care about a lot. Louis, I apologize. Sincerely. Will you let us keep our skateboards if I promise to shoot a human next time? Yes. Goody. Thank you for helping my big sis learn from her many, many flaws. Yes, thank you. Wait, what do you mean, many flaws? I don't have nearly enough time to get into all that. Besides, I think I have an idea. So we have a weird healing rock, which is great. Everyone loves healing. But what's the one thing everyone loves more than healing? Gun. Guns. Guns! Guns! Why does everything have to be a gun? Wait, 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 but not a gun. Not the hurdy bang bang kind. This would be a long range healing gun, right? It just shoots, you know, beautiful rock slivers instead of bullets. A long range. What's that face? Is that a good face, bad face? A long range glow. Uh-uh. We can't risk damaging the actual shard without knowing where or if there's a source to replenish it from. I am definitely not yanking more of these out of some ancient angry monster. Oh, yeah. No. But we don't need to. If this... this element, whatever this is, functions anything like Iridium does, which it seems to in terms of energy expenditure, uh, then I can harness that energy and consolidate it into a beam of light. Uh, a healing ray. What? Really? Yes. I had a good idea. 
Because it feels like I actually maybe did. You had a good idea. Ah, it's completely fried. All right, if we're going to get anywhere with this idea. My idea. I'm going to need to fix my. Our. Device. Your gun is broken? My device needs some minor repairs. I'm going to see if there's anything useful in this Froyo garbage. <gasps> Your Froyo garbage. Ah, yes. You'll do nicely as a transparent containment unit. I think. You know what they say. Reduce, reuse, Reimagine how to recreate your invention using found materials from a bombed out Froger shop. Is there anything you can't add marketing to these days? Pressure sensitive tape. A true testament to the power of science and engineering. Presuming Fran doesn't have a welding machine, this ought to do the job. Oh my god. Is he dead? He's not dead, right? Tell me he's not dead, please. Who, Hank? Oh, he'll be fine. He just needed some time to cool off, and I obliged. There are any working fuses in here. I can use one to help regulate current. Ah! Is touching live fuses part of your scientific genius? Oh, oh! Should I have been touching live fuses this whole time? No! Octavio, live fuses are still bad. I just assumed with all the destruction, the fuses were dead. I'll use my tech goggles to check them now. Thanks. One good fuse is all I need. Uh, so long as I don't screw up the assembly process, that is. Huh. Refrigerators are full of usable material. I know what you're thinking. I thought I abandoned you in shame in a sewer. And you're right. But I do not capitulate so easily. No, no. I crave the rematch so I might reclaim my honor. Of course. So, I did what any person of right mind would do, and I followed your trail here. Uh, well, not here. Here. This is my forward operating base as I plot my redemption. You're living in our fridge? It is for air conditioning. So, uh, who's pathetic now? Still me. Enough pity. I challenge you to vault landers. Game of Kings, the true battle of brain. I don't even know how to play. You'll pick it up. It's really quite simple. Now, battle! Select your vault lander. Fall. Fall versus Vasquez. Vault landers. Fight. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Critical hit. Land ripping.
victory is yours. Uh, yes, it is. And you thought with great skill. Are you truly a novice? Were you hustling me? I'm sure I've never played before, but I understand the appeal. Do you want to live with me in this fridge? What? No. <laughs> but thank you for the game. This was fun. Fun? How dare you besmirch Vaultlanders by calling it fun? Tis a duel of strategy, bravado, and guile. You are unworthy of your natural skill. Be gone. Open or closed? Closed. So weird. That scrap you're talking about is my Froyo machine. And did it always look like this? Listen here, Judgy. She may have needed some encouragement from time to time, but she never let me down. Analysis, this machine is well, how to put it, demolished, broken beyond repair, unusable, out of commission. You touch my machine, and it's you who will be out of commission. Capish? Yes, got it. Capish you loud and clear. Well, it won't be playing any of Prometheus' hottest hits anytime soon. Not that I ever wanted to hear the psycho shuffle again. Oh. Fran, is there a reason why there's a camera hidden inside your jukebox machine? Yeah. It's for my only friends. Only France? Yeah, you know, it's a subscription service for my loyal customers so they can keep an eye on the shop. Sort of like crowdsourcing a security team to keep an eye on the place. But don't tell my fanatics that. <laughs> The camera was offline, and the shop as well. <laughs> so I thought maybe I could use the lens in the device. Ta-da! Now, for the finishing touch. It didn't... But it should've... I, I, I don't... Should it... Do something? It's not calibrating to this new element. I'll make a few adjustments. That's all. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. It didn't. In my face. Beautiful. Now, to ensure this healing ray actually uh, heals, which would require an injury to uh, heal. So we get to shoot ourselves again. We need to test the device. By shooting ourselves again. For the good of science. 
It needs to be me. It's my device and it's... To be honest, I didn't exactly have it working perfectly before. I won't risk it on either of you. But... Ew, Anu, ow. Ish. You were just taking turns shooting at each other like it was a pillow fight. Yeah, that was nuts, but like awesome. This, however, is just unsettling. All right, fine. Now, someone has to do the honors. Can I just say, it would be a real honor to shoot you, Anu. How about it, little brother? For science? For science. All right, here goes... Everything. Here goes everything. For real, Anu. This thing's... Ah! Cool. I have harnessed the power of life itself. Oh, damn. Does it make you high? I am high only on science. Okay, yeah, that sounds a little bit more on brand. Do you guys realize what we have here? Women. Do you women realize what we have here? Just say y'all. Do y'all realize that this could change everything? That it won't be as easy to save a life as take it? That injuries, sickness, they can all be solved with the pull of a trigger? That just maybe this universe will finally give life the respect it deserves? I can't believe it. I always wanted to change the universe for the better, and now we actually can! Okay, hear me out. You take a bite of a taco. It's delicious, but now there's one less bite in it. Then zap! Suddenly, the taco is healed. Infinite taco! You mean like solving world hunger? Sure, I... that too. Pretty sure this only works on living tissue? And maybe consider expanding your diet. No, no, no. All right, so we make a bunch of Healy guns, but to do that, we need money. First, device. Second, we only have this one shard. Third, we don't yet have a complete understanding of what this shard is capable of or how it works. Let's not start talking about mass production quite yet. Counterpoint, what better way to test the shard than to make a whole bunch of Healy guns? We're not calling them that. And test them. This is like basic business development. Didn't they teach you that at Space College? Spallage. Spallage. Spallage? I'm not comfortable making more than one of these Healy gun... These devices until I've worked out all the kinks. And spallage is absolutely not a thing. Anu, come on. This is classic you. Working on something for way too long, not wanting to show it off. But let me tell you something. There is no such thing as perfect. Down here, you gotta get messy and move fast. But at Atlas, they fired you. Oh, okay. Say you're right. Where would we get this kind of startup money? Louis, do you have any high value targets we could take out? Take out? I'm an assassination bot, not a take out bot. In any case, in order to raise the funds required for your business venture, we would need to take out a target with the relative galactic importance of calculating. The sun. So, is there anyone like that, or...? There is no one like that. Less stupid idea. We could go on sink or swim. Oh! What? It's this new Promethean Echo cast where you pitch an invention to an investor. If he likes it, he basically throws endless money at you. What if he doesn't like it? I do not know. Never actually watched it, friend. It comes on during the evening Frogurt Rush, so I haven't seen it either. Well, it's Promethean, so probably something bad. Guaranteed something very bad. 
probably something bad, yes. But hey, if anyone else has a smarter plan, I'm all ears. <sighs> all right, sink or swim it is. But if we win... When we win? We have to invest some of that money into research. Deal? Deal. Oh, deal. All right. Let's get ready for a pitch that will change the universe. Hi, Hello. how are you? So, so. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, if I may take a moment of your time, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about something so new, so revolutionary, so exciting, I'm listening. that it will completely change your life. If you respect high quality, if you expect only the best, sounds just like me. I proudly present to you the perfect product. Have fun with it. We did it, gang. We're going on sink or swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Don't oh, come on. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Move along. <sighs> Go on. Scram. Skedaddle. Vamoos. Move your tush. It's okay. I'm very important. I don't know what that means. It means I can get into any building I want without a guard's gut in my way. Body shaming. Two paces back. Listen, kid. You're not getting through this door. As sure as my name is Marvin Baxter. Whoa! What the hell, who? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. On his head. My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous. I feel... I feel... Shitty? Yes. Contract deposit received. Of course you do. You straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. I guess it's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Octavio! He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing is gonna bring him back to life. I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here in Marvin Baxter's stead, if only to uphold his legacy and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. I'm sorry, old friend. You just stepped on him. Sorry again. OK, 
okay. Be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people with a half-baked plan to win some money. Hey, future losers. <laughs> Just kidding, little rib. Look at your faces. This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Pierre Palantine, great to meet ya. Yeah, same. So, what are you bringing to the sink? Ooh, <laughs> you'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to like waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on, hit me with it, you. Nervous girl, I'm your dry rub. Let me see it at least. Come on, hit me with it. Give me your pitch or I'll kill ya. Ha, just joshing. Or am I? Ha! Um, if this baby makes it to market, everything you know will change. Everything, wow. That is vague to the point of utter uselessness. Fantastic. What? Oh, nothing. It's just, um, it's quaint. Quaint? Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition and, uh, update. I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product before showtime. Psh! You take me for a patsy, you'll sabotage it. No one's sabotaging your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaties. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. What? 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 Have a great show. Maybe I should have punched him in the face, too, just to make sure he got the message. In Fran's defense, he had a very punchable face. In fact, if I could create an index of all the punchable faces, I'd punch them in order, starting with his. Sick burn, sis. Relax. Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. The most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. What if that condescending joke was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? I don't smell like science, and I definitely don't smell confident. Ugh, yeah, that's something special. I'm serious. I could really use some of that oh, TV swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people, and I'm... Oh, God! The trick is to imagine the audience naked. Seriously? Yeah, how can you be afraid of someone when they're naked? <laughs> That's a great tip! Imagine the audience naked. Don't do it now! I'm not! Because I'm your brother! I know! Pitch and public speaking aside. All that stuff Palantine said. We focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh, uh, but does it need more style? Is our device just, just quaint? How do I give it, you know, pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person. I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> I like it. It looks Spartan, utilitarian. I do too. But I'm starting to think that won't be enough for a bunch of buzz-hungry, image-obsessed game show investors. I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now I'm sweating more, Octavio. What do I do? You stay here and try not to sweat anymore. Leave the rest to me. All right, Palantine. You're about to get Octavioed. All the usual fare, I see. <gasps> oh, 
Oh gosh, <laughs> how clumsy of me, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't damage your invention. Nice try, amateur. It'll take more than that to ruin Pierre Palantine. Oh, I'm counting on it. You're talking to yourself again. That's a sure sign that you're up to something. What are you scheming and how can I help? Palantine's keeping his invention in his back pocket. You think you can distract him long enough for me to get close and hack it? Pa! Watch and learn, kid. Pierre, was it? Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake that ever boffed. Me. Well, I, I don't <laughs> disagree with you, but... Sha, 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 sha. Don't speak. Your voice is too arousing. Every part of you, all this, is arousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him. That ought to do it. Your whole body is a temple to beefcake. How do you live in such a meaty temple? <laughs> Healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying, I, I am about to lose control of myself. And I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Pierre. <sighs> Pardonnez-moi. I'm sweating from orifices. I didn't even know had sweat glands. We were just having a little tete-a-tete -tete with the competition. I think it's safe to say we got what we wanted out of the exchange. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. To stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then walked off to get me antiperspirant. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim, yada, yada, yada. We're on in five, I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palantine, future winner. Uh-huh. Name? Dr. Anuradadar, and this is Octavio Wallistar and Francine Miskowitz. Uh-huh, okay. You, you're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow. I'm impossible. Finnegan, 
That's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got a style. He's hot. Brad, can we focus on something other than your libido? Now, now. This could come in handy. Worst comes to worst, you think you could seduce him, Fran? Obviously, right. Dumb question. There's no such thing as a dumb question. That one was. All right, Pierre. Let's see that perfect invention. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see to believe. I, I believe it's it's a ball. No, it's it's not. It's not activating. <gasps> I'm in sabotage. Sabotage! That's horrible. Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly and smart. Probably very good looking. Also very cool. Okay, you know what? I did sabotage this product. Octavio! And I'd do it again, too! One thousand times! You know why? Because I did it for you. That's sweet, Oc. Ethically very wrong! But... sweet. Here, I would so love to see your invention at work. Since that is literally the point of this show. Unfortunately, your pitch... It's a ball! No, I swear it does more! So much more! Somebody's been tampered with the algorithm! I've been cheated, swindled, uh, hard swoggled! And since someone's already invented the ball, it's an old idea. And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float... The little futz turned out to be a big futz. You messed with his device. You... You killed him! He woke up alive, crossed paths with you, and now he's dead! I didn't mean to kill him! What I did to his machine was just good old-fashioned innocent futzing! Well, you need to be more mindful of your futzing! A man is dead! Absolutely, you got it. I will... Futs responsibly. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean for our next guest. You still think he's sexy? He just murdered a man in front of a live audience. I knew. So you do think he's still sexy? Of course I still think he's sexy. Oh, my God! If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me! Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anurata Dar, you're up next. Just me? Just you. The others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dunked. Apparently, we have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Octavio! You're gonna be fine. Just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here. Great! I got fired! Oh, shit! Please welcome your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anurana Dar! Who wrote that introduction? Today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await?
I've always wanted to be a siren. Whoa, whoa. I don't want your life story. Especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. I'm ready to swim. <laughs> okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So you were saying something about eating a siren? That's not exactly what I... Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Imagine them naked. Hey! Nice dick! Pardon? It's great! Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Allow me to present... The Hippocratic Matic. Right. Because hippos do no harm. Sure. All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> wow. What a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quaint, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another arm. I made it about me. I cynically placed myself as an invaluable asset to the company. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well, second time's gotta be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake, at least. It's powered by our wondrous imaginations. Well, how do you know that? I don't. But here's a better question. How do we not know that? You seem nervous, and really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelments. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. Uh, finally, someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! As I slowly lower my finger towards the sink button, this laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand, watching the last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float,
to get a serious taste of this. Bam! A haymaker to the shark face. Beautiful. Behind you. Oh, she uppercuts it through its face. That is so mad. in a headlock and now he's using it as a meat shield oh my god she's swinging it around to knock away the other sharks and now he's just punching it senseless and punching it and punching it oh no she tore in its eye oh the shark manity the sharks are swimming skrrr What kind of finishing move could she even? Oh, she ripped the fin off! She ripped the fin right off! And ate it? How do you even eat something underwater? There's so, so, so much blood. Just an inexcusable, obscene amount of blood. She's coming back up! I'm okay! I'm okay! Thanks. Have been lifting. <sighs> oh. Anu? I'm sorry. I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this! Shh, shh. Hush your nerd mouth. You didn't ask for any of this. It should have been me. It should have been me! Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm gonna do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something else. Anu. Anu! Wake up. Stay with us. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's no use. She said something else. Something else. I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right! We can use the device! We don't even know if it can reattach limbs! Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out! It's working! <gasps> Thank you, magical healing gun! Device. Hot oh, diggity, you scared me half to death. Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a little mouth-to-mouth? -mouth? I am the vessel torn asunder, harmonic vibration seeking resonance. So that's a no, then? Honey? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I might have an offer for you, if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and enemies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel investor! Who is it? Who? Who cares who? 
How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. That's right! Booyah! Fantastic! What a roller coaster! That's our show, everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sing or Win! Now that we're a hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I eat at expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. We did not sink, we swam. I mean, yeah, you got banged up and spoke in tongues for a hot second. Yeah, about that? Probably just all the blood loss, right? Exactly, classic blood loss. I'm not so sure, it, it felt- Who cares, we got our money, cash paper. My beautiful, brilliant sister, I could kiss you. Uh. I could, but I won't. I'll kiss anyone. We know. When you fell in that tank, I thought you were dead. Me too. I totally panicked. I, and not just because, you know, you were going to die, but I just couldn't imagine going on without you. Never thought I'd get this uh, vulnerable. <laughs> it feels off-brand. Hey, come on now. You've been getting on great in Promethea without me. Oh, so that's how you want to play it. Guilt me into not succeeding off-planet like you have? What? No, that's not what I... Forget it. Forget I said anything. Hey, let's focus on the team. Anu's alive! And we don't have to waste valuable capital on getting her some cool prosthetic rocket leg or something. Rocket leg? Or a shotgun foot? Oh. Have you met me? All I'm saying is this little beauty didn't just save your boring human leg, it saved our wallets when it saved your boring human leg. Yeah, uh, about that. Fran. Thanks. Same. Ladies, I think it's safe to say things are looking up. Oh. You got Octavio. Who, may I ask, has the pleasure of speaking with me? Well, how dee if it ain't my intrepid inventors what I invested in. Oh, it's the angel investor. Well, shucks now. Ain't nobody ever called me that before. I just wanted to check on my investment and... What are your terms? There's got to be a catch. Fran, don't look a money horse in its cash mouth. Oh, go easy on her, handsome. She's just looking out for y'all. Here are my terms. You make your device, and I get half the profits. Sound fair? Half, we accept. We accept. Thanks, bye. Go! Oh, what gives? This isn't about the money. This is about changing the world. Considering we were about to be ripped limb from limb, I'd say 50% is awfully generous. Sure, sure. Maybe the worst negotiation I've ever heard, but whatever. I'm riding high. We got our seed money, we got a plan, nothing's gonna stand in our way. <gasps> We've discussed this. I am back. Clearly. You are still alive. Albeit wet. I fought off a bunch of sharks. Oh, it was really cool. And everybody fell in love with me. Then you have secured the funding. Of course we did. You should have seen it, Lou. I hacked this jackhat's ball thing. Which got him killed. <laughs> ball thing. And we give the audience a live demonstration that will live on in infamy. It was so epic, some anonymous Brazilianaire called into the show and funded our company. We're super rich now. He is embellishing again, isn't he? 
Actually, no, that's more or less what happened. I am relieved that you are not dead, and that you are no longer poor. I am in no way implying that I care about your silly skateboard metric, but if anything deserves skateboards, it's that stunt we pulled back there, am I right or am I right? You are not incorrect. In fact, hmm, despite your success, you collectively seem demoralized and measurably more insecure than you previously did. Colloquially known as bummed. I rate your team morale as one skateboard. What's wrong, pal? I, I thought you liked giving us skateboards. I do. But am I fit to give them? I had ample time to assess my programming while standing outside and arrived at a conclusion. I am a failure. I am worthless. Okay, this just took a turn. Seeing each of you grow as individuals and as a team fills me with such absolute misery. Seems self-obsessed, but you do you, bot. That is exactly it, Francine. I cannot do me. Hey, with a little practice and some mood lighting. <laughs> Fran, despite being borderline psychotic, you are the closest thing to a functioning adult in close proximity. Um, hello. I hate killing, but I cannot contravene my programming. What does that say about me? We all have our own programming. The trick is to make sure you don't let it control you. You have considered letting it control you five times in the last 24 hours. Shut up. Six. But I cannot contravene my programming. Does that mean I am weak? I don't know, life's weird. Weird is insufficient. I require objective clarity. Am I evil, Francine? Your hesitation alarms me. Or perhaps it should not. If the answer is unclear, maybe there is hope for me. Don't sweat, you're killing it. That is the entire problem. Oops. I feel I now have more questions than when we began this conversation. Yeah, life's like that. Nonetheless, having expressed my anxieties, I now register a significant, if inexplicable, closeness to you. A growing affection, one might say. Yeah, I have that effect on people or robots, whoever. If I could provide a rating of our friendship on a scale of one to seven volleyballs, it... Don't ruin this. Hi. Um, yeah, the show ended over an hour ago. Could you all please, you know, leave now? Oh, God, yes. So sorry. Thank you for having us. Uh, it was nice meeting you. Let's grab coffee sometime. So, I had a thought. Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> We just want a bunch of money, right? So, hear me out. Maybe we need better digs than a literal pile of rubble. We just want sink or swim. We're players now. We should probably work somewhere less... busted. We can salvage this. We use the investor's money and rebuild right here. Rebuilding would take time, Fran. Promethea needs this technology now. Who pissed in your shark tank? Fran, we gotta face the facts. Look around you. This place has been bombed twice. There's nothing left. Incorrect. Structurally, there is 30% of Franz Froggitz left. Utilizing reclaimed rebar and approximately a metric ton of co Why are you making that throat cutting motion? <sighs> Franz Froggitz isn't dead dead, Fran. It'll live forever in our hearts. Sure, it can live on in your hearts, but legally and financially, Franz Froggitz is unequivocally dead. I hope this clarity was helpful. Listen, we got a different dream now. All of us together. And that dream starts with a location. Location is everything in business. Companies live and die by their real estate. Octavio's not wrong. Look at why Atlas moved their locale to space. Uh Exactly! Yeah, it's a vital decision that will determine our level of success or failure. It's a mission of such importance 
that I can only entrust it to myself. It's a burden I'm honored to take for the betterment of us all. I'm gonna take your silence here as support for my impeccable taste and trustworthiness. Well, if you're in charge of finding the new HQ, what am I gonna do? Oh, Perfect. I have a job for you. What does every startup company need? Frogurt machines in the break room. Ah? Ah? No. Sure. Maybe. But also, staff. You, me, Anu, and Louie, we're the think tank. We need staff to, you know, execute our visions. And you, Fran, clearly have an eye for talent. I mean, you hired me, after all. I suppose I could head down to Lors and interview a few candidates at his cafe. I do have an eye for talent. Exactly. Great, it's settled. I'll go get an HQ, Fran and Louie will go hire us some staff, and Anu, you'll get production supplies. Acquire testing material. Right, same thing. I think. Look at us, working together separately to get this business off the ground. Indeed, this deserves a skateboard. Oh goody, a skateboard. Just think, when we meet back up, this business will be operational. Dirty 30, here we come. Just call us when you found a new location, Ock. And make sure it has cold storage for my supplies. See you soon, friend. Well, I guess this is it then. Just Fran and L0U13. You didn't go with Octavio. An astute observation. Awesome. Love that for me. Can you give me a minute to say goodbye to the old place? I can. 60 seconds, starting now. I love this place more than anything. Franz Frogerts was my first love. But I have more to love now. Friends, Frogerts are frozen. The Frogerts are frozen. The frozen is freaking Frogerts around. <sighs> well, come on, bot. I know somebody who can help us staff up. <laughs> Yeehaw! to study the shard with. It's all above board. <laughs> this isn't creepy. <laughs> Remember it a joke. <laughs> oh, that's great. I was like, oh no, is she a creep? Mayhaps you'd like to hear it. 
How many dead orphans does it take? Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm Dr. Anuradhadar. And I am Keeper of the Dead. You may call me Keeper for short, as we are now friends. Oh, I... Short. I was... Uh, my company was hoping to contract an asset from you. An asset? My children shall be so delighted. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should... Uh, maybe this was a bad... Nonsense! We can do business. I have many products to sell. All pristine. Now, what was the name of your company again? Um, heal better games. You make games? My children love games. No. Seems like an odd name then. It was available. Look, I need to buy a corpse, and you seem like the most reputable. Buy a corpse? What are you, a pervert? No, I. What? I... You said you could sell me pristine products. I make candles. You don't sell corpses? Of course not. That's creepy. Oh, and stroking a dead body and calling it your child isn't? What? I was referring to my daughters. This wretched job is putting them through college on Eden 6. Oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I misunderstood. Clearly. Now, please, vacate the premises. No, wait. I still need a corpse. It's important for my studies. And you expected I'd just sell you one? I don't know who you are to come in here and expect me to roll out different flavors of corpse, like some sort of fast casual eatery. But that's not what I am about. Please, I need these corpses. Your desperation makes me want to give them to you even less. No, not for anything weird. I just want to do some tests on them. Not like weird tests, but... Look, I changed my mind. I'll sell you a body. What? Really? Yeah, I, you seem nice enough, and I mean, it's, it's not like they're gonna mind, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just g give me a moment, will you? And feel free to look around. Everything all right? Just, uh, readying the corp. Please don't tell me what that means. Doesn't look like it's been digitally manipulated. Those four kids have a three lifetimes worth of student debt ahead of them. from the fall seems minimal. Eyeballs and teeth all accounted for. Good as new. Except for the... everything. Sorry. You... you... sorry. Ray Digitube. 
Apparently it cuts down input lag when playing Echo Sims. Huh. I'm trying to go pro in Turbo Punch Sibling Skirmish. Cool. Maybe she uses it for self-defense. A good engineer works with the tools she has. Scent of an afternoon snuggle. Oh, that's... <laughs> What's that? You checking out my candle? No, yeah, I was... Uh, how calming! I'm not stupid. <sighs> Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. to the pike so we can turn this whole experience into another fun repressed memory. What did you say? You said good as new. What's good as new? Man! I know, right? Uh, okay. I found a corpse for you if you want to see it. See it, as in go to another room. Uh, for sure, yes. Let's leave this room immediately. <clears throat> Follow me, please. I knew I had a spare corpse around here somewhere. I was just planning on throwing out, honestly. It's getting kind of rancid, though. Is that okay? That's perfect, actually. The more decayed, the better. Sorry about this. Hey! What are you doing? Uh, there's a contract out on your head. It's enough money to pay off the girl's student debt and invest in my candle company full time. Hey, I thought you water creep, says the woman thirsting for rancid corpses. Besides, I'm not the one killing you here. I'm just the one locking you in a coffin until you run out of oxygen. The coffin's the real creep here. Be mad at the coffin. Okay. Don't panic. You're not claustrophobic. Except now that you've said it aloud, you are. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, think. Wait, the goggles. Come on, show me something. What's that? A hole, measuring 0.5 millimeters in diameter. If widened, this could provide a means to avoid capture and death by the TDOR Corporation. What? You don't talk? When did you start talking? Shadownet update illegally installed by Octavio Wallace Dar. Now, punch. Oh. <laughs> yes! Ow! <laughs> no. How many more punches until I break through? Based on the strength of your punches, the coffin door will be compromised after 5,000 more punches. Slow and steady, Anu. No need to rush, because 
Tidior will be here at any moment to capture her and kill you. Just one punch at a time. <laughs> Starting to hurt a lot. <sighs> Come on. Almost there with about 3,900 to go. <laughs> You've reached Dr. Anuradha Dar. I'm unavailable to take your call right now, so please leave a message. The little bro has outdone himself with the HQ mission, sis. Sending you the Addy now. Hope you're having fun in your supply run. I saw your bounty on TV, and I'm calling to collect. Hmm. On Dr. Dar? Yeah. Awkward nerdy lady. Dar, that's right. And she's dead. Uh, not yet. But her oxygen's sure to run out any minute now. Lovely. We've tracked your location. My men will arrive to dispose of you. I mean, dispense your reward to you shortly. Wait, what did you say? Tedior thanks you for your service. Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. And really, the bit in the middle isn't too great either. But every once in a while, things aren't so bad. This is the situation our three doofuses found themselves in. After successfully pitching their uh, opposite of a gun on sink or swim, the genius, the rage monster, and a big dumb idiot had the world on a string. Well, for the most part. Anu, the competent one, intended to collect a corpse. But thanks to Susan Coldwell's bounty, Anu might find herself being the corpse she wanted to collect. Don't give me that look. You narrate next time you think you can do so much better. Four hundred. <sighs> Ock. Ock. Can you hear me? There? Supposed to be back an hour ago. No. Coming in sneaky. I haven't been up to much. I'm just about to get murdered! It's good. Just come back when finished. Yeah! Will do! Hundred... One! Four... Hundred... Four hundred three four hundred four four hundred five four thousand nine hundred ninety nine I can't wait to reach my healing device. <sighs> hey! Your boss lady said you'd be here by now. Those student loans aren't gonna pay themselves. What's the holdup? So sorry, ma'am. My platoon was diverted by civil unrest. ETA five minutes. Oh. Five minutes? Come on. Come on, just one more punch. Thousand! Oh. 
Anu, strongest lady in the universe! <laughs> and invincible! A body. Level of deterioration, severe. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, low. Damn! I don't care if there's a war going on. I got your girl in a coffin and a, a bank account getting skinnier by the minute and... Level of deterioration, none. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, high, if she were a corpse. A scalpel, useful for transforming people into corpses. I no, 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 I, 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 I don't want to kill again. Really? Because the idea is growing on me. But watch it! Nothing personal! Go on. Just die, you psycho! Now this is it! You psycho bandit trash! I guess. Uh, wait! No! I'm not! Oh.
And where is Fran? I have something important to tell you both. Bup, bup, bup. I, I said no peeking. Voila! Say hello to our new HQ. Do you love it? I bought it from the city's top realtor, Rhonda Fofolia. She's one of the dirty 30. Her whole reputation is built on being nice and honest. Central location, spacious, great schools. And there's something homey and familiar about it. You bought Franz Frogut. <laughs> what? No. Yes. You bought the literal rubble of Franz Frogut, the same location you wanted us to leave. There's no way we could know for sure this is Franz Frogert. There's a big sign that says Franz Frogert. That sign is old news. You're looking at the new headquarters of our company, which I named. An awesome name that I totally remember. And that name is... <laughs> okay, I panicked and named it Franz Frogert again. I'm sorry. What name would you pick? Literally anything else. You bought a blown out Froger shop. The same Froger shop we fled. And the only difference is a custom plaque. Not the only difference. This place is full of updates. Come, look around. Updates. Such as... Do you smell that? Mmm. She made it smell like cookies. It always smelled like cookies. It's a Froyo shop. Okay, fine. But, but, I haven't even told you the best part yet. I didn't need to take out a loan. I was able to pay it full, in cash, up front. You what? It took some professional gauche, uh, professional negotiation, but I got her to accept all the money we want from Sink or Swim. Sis, this building is ours, free and clear. <laughs> you idiotic. Oh, this already was ours before it was blown apart from an invasion. You bought it for no reason with all our capital? These are some high-level biz maneuvers. Business maneuvers. It's above your pay grade. They don't expect you to understand. I get it. You think I agreed to purchase this place right away, but I'm not an idiot, Anu. I knew Fran would want to invest in some security measures, and I knew you'd want some high-tech tools to work with. So, being the amazing negotiator I am, I talked Rhonda into giving us... Into giving us what, exactly? A plasma ball. Very scientific. I'm sure it'll help with your experiments. I haven't seen you make that face since we were kids. You'd always make that face just before you... <laughs> Let's not go nuts here. If you were me, you'd do the same. Get up, you two. That. I leave you two doofuses alone for one second and you're at each other's throats. You are also in the place where we last saw you. Friend Octavia, have you been duped again? Yes, he spent all of our capital buying. She pulled my ear. Hard. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't want to hear it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm back home again. And I love these countertops. They used to be our floor. Even if Octavio spent all of our money on my shop, 
I have made up for it by hiring our support staff on the cheap. And by cheap, I mean nothing. Come along, Fergus! Fergus? <sighs> Free labor, free labor, free labor, free labor, free, free labor. Strangely arousing. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, huh. a rather fascinating human. The dancing, the free labor. He lives in a perpetual flow state. Coexisting with instinct and agency. He completely bypasses the contradiction of programming. His oscillating hips are fascinating and somehow life affirming. Get your robo claws away from him! He's mine! Mine. <laughs> when I reflexively murdered that security guard, I found myself in a consciousness paradox. But you have solved it. I shall learn from you. You are my guru. Free labor. Free labor. I thought I was your guru. What an astonishingly inaccurate assessment. Him. A, a guru. Him. Uh, sure, he's a great dancer with chisel dabs and a butt that refuses to quit. But... I'm not sure he's the right fit for a startup business. Does he have any usable experience? No offense, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Mm! Yeah, this change in your mind. Woo! Yeah! Oh! I know it is. It's... Isn't! Who died and made you queen of HR? The following HR professionals had their contracts fulfilled, by which I mean lives terminated in the past hour. Sophia Poppy, Eleonora Copsa, Harriet Lilly, Jade Dukesha. That's not what she meant. Fergus sought me out for his college's work-study intensive program. Free labor! He's majoring in libidinous business management and minoring in hot throbbing. Run! You do know you're not trapped, right? You can leave any time. Give one thrust for yes, two for no. Free! And you want to work for your college course unpaid? Labor! That's it! I give up. Welcome aboard! Yes! I hope you enjoy your time at Franz Frogert. Whoopee! Fergus, whip us up some Froyo daiquiris. Extra space room. Free labor. Free labor. <gasps> I never get tired of that tush. Oh, yeah. Shake it. Seems like I'm the only one who's actually made an effort. Do either of you have any idea what I went through to bring you the... the... the nothing at all? Weren't you supposed to get, like, supplies? A corpse. Oh, wow, are we pivoting to the corpse business? Either way, I don't see a corpse, which means you screwed up just as badly as us. Worse, we actually came back with something. I didn't screw up. Well, what did you do then? Well, you're throwing around a lot of accusations, but you sure sugar aren't producing. I encountered unforeseen, unavoidable complications. Oh. It turns out corpses, much like my current mental state, are fragile. Yeah. The point is, 
None of us accomplished anything. Is that right? Not entirely. Aru at least managed to evade the TDR patrols currently searching for her. Right before she and Octavio ran past several dozen security cameras on their way here. Wait, what now? TDR was there? The person running the morgue tried to collect on my bounty. Baby girl's first bounty? Aww. Guys, focus! If the security cams got us, we were followed. Yes, almost certainly. Maybe you were followed, but I wasn't. We were going to the same place. There's no way. Hello, Ding Dong! Dr. Anu Dahadar, prepare to die! Wait just a minute. Dr. Anu Dahadar, your bounty is misspelled. I won't murder you. Gonna be honest, Gun, you're pissing me off. And I've been trying real, real hard not to get pissed off. Don't make me do something that's gonna disappoint both of us. Great bluff, Francine. Great what? A bluff. Francine's self-control is so great that even if you did murder Anu, she would not take revenge. Ignore that. I will not. Oh my god! No! Congratulations! You killed my commander and I killed your doctor. We are now even, Stephen. Oh, I'll show you even! I'm here for you, big guy. I'm here. I was really starting to like her. That's it? You're just gonna let me go like that? Do I wanna break you in half with my bare hands? Absolutely! But that would be a violent, spiteful act of revenge, and she wouldn't want that. So yeah. I'm letting your metal ass go, but not for you, for her. We let you down. You didn't even get to try your device on a dead. What if Anu is the dead body? Correct, Anu's body is dead. It can be hard to accept such tragedies.
How are you feeling, sis? You were totally dead there for a minute. A really scary minute. I, uh, yeah. Are, are you okay? I think so. If you need mouth to mouth, just say the word. Whoa, whoa, you were totally dead there less than a minute ago. Maybe you should take it easy. No, no, I'm fine. I... <gasps> Not fine at all. It's weird. I... Uh... Anu? Your eyes are... glowing. Get away! There's something! Is this normality? Nothing about this is normal. Anu? Say something. Are you okay? In peril. Well, I sure as hell can fix that. Give me that piece of shit. For whatever reason, whenever Anu gets a hit of this shard's healing juice, she goes all funny. I don't know why, but I also don't care. It's been nothing but trouble since we got it. Gah! No! You seem to have changed the shard's energy signature, Francine. You will only cause us. Harm! Anu? That you, girl? We must be made whole. That's a big no. Hold up. I know what to do. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. OK, I'm out of ideas. What do we do? I'm new to alien possession, too. What would Anu do? Probably befriended. Ah, worth a shot, I guess. And if not, I have something else we can try. Uh. Hey. Hi. Uh, oh. uh, Octavio here. Um, I don't know what you're doing to my sister, but you need to let her go. Uh, now? Please? Just leave her alone, okay? She's, she's no good to you if you hurt her. You're half for the promise. We are made whole. I, I promise. <gasps> Anu! <laughs> First you were dead and then you were super possessed. This has been a real roller coaster. I didn't even get a chance to give you mouth to mouth. Unless, of course, you want some now. I mean, would it help? I am fine, uh, really. I'm sorry I blew all our money on a blown out Froyo shop. I'm sorry my intern is so sexy. And I'm sorry I got trapped by a crazy candle making morgue attendant and let Tidio straight to our door. I'm sorry I cannot identify with any of these extreme emotions. Free labor. Free labor? Free labor indeed. <sighs> Listen, I'm great at running a dessert-based business that I have inherited, but let me get real with you both for a minute. Starting a technology business? It's hard. So, so hard. hard! And we're bad at this, like really bad. Really bad! <laughs> We've made so many rookie mistakes! So many! We didn't even set up a fun office culture. Like Casual Friday or, or Taco Tuesday! Or make out with your coworkers Wednesdays. Oh, come on. Like I'm the only one who enjoys make out with your coworkers Wednesdays. Okay, maybe Fran's right. Fran's definitely right. You know what they say, though? The first step to being bad at business is admitting you're good at business. That doesn't make any sense. It does when you think about it. No, it still doesn't make any sense. Look, we're all beginners at this, right? Maybe we need to get some help from a veteran. Someone seasoned, successful, and already on our side. Strong Fork! The angel investor! Oh, that's a great idea. Get her on your phony decks. Already am. And it's a Nekodex phone. And don't tell me what to do. Whatever. Give me the phone thingy. 
Howdy, howdy. You got Fran here? You can just talk normally. Fran or Franz Frogert, as I live and breathe. Heard one of them chatty TD or guns broke into your homestead and put a hole straight through Arnold's red box. Are we revealing our device brought me back from the dead? She did invest in us. We should respect our shareholders. If word gets out, it goes our way. It's called controlling the nair. Narrative? Alive, not alive. Chicken and waffles. I mean, what does it even mean to live these days? Breach. I mean, are any of us actually alive? I am not. I'm confused. Does Anu have a pulse? Yes, I do. It's 74 BPM. <laughs> Oh, well, color may relieve y'all, <laughs> but still, I know them TDR scoundrels like the back of my horse's head. They're gonna just keep trying to kill you until, well, they kill you. That's why we're calling you on the Echo Doodle Doo. Echo Dex. We were wondering if you could help get our business on its feet. Maybe protect us from TDR and other bounty hunters while we're at it. Tell you what, housing your enterprise is a big expense, but I didn't just invest in that Healy Beam of yours, I invested in y'all. And if there's one thing I do, it's protect my investments. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're investments! That's great to hear. I think I speak for all of us when I say we very much want to stay alive. And we're grateful for your help. From one business tycoon to another. I'll put y'all up in my private hacienda. It's safe there. You can continue your research, hang in the hot tub, enjoy a shiatsu massage from Abdul. Research? Hot tub? Abdul. I'm sending a car now. See y'all in a jiffy. High five time. High five time. Yeah. And speaking of investments, we need you to stay here and do whatever you can to clean this place up. Free labor. They do that sometimes. You'll get used to it. Welcome to my hacienda. <laughs> Mi hacienda is still hacienda, okay? <laughs> Make yourselves at home. Um, is the hacienda you? Oh, no. Y'all have to forgive me. I know it's rude not to give you a big old warm welcome face to face, but you got here just in time for a real special hoot nanny was happening this very night. I'm hosting a bit of a fete or partido, if you will, and you are, of course, all invited. A party? With people? Anu, Han, take a deep breath. In. You can't just party spring on me. No warning because surprise. And out. It's just a little soiree, sister. We're gonna be beside you the whole time. You gonna be okay? The party will start in just a few wee hours, and I so look forward to meeting y'all in person when it kicks off. Until then, I went and took the liberty to arrange some pleasant diversions for each of you that I hope you will find to your liking. I'll leave you in the hands of my capable assistant. 
What about Louis? Do you have something special for him to do? Yeah, what about Louis? He's part of our team. What? He's grown on me. I have not. I remain unattached from your person. See? Charming. I would never overlook such a fine piece of machinery. L0U13, you find an outlet on the wall, it's quite special. It will plug you into an AI-only server where you can, how to put this, exchange data with other consenting intelligences. I'm talking multiple data packets. I do enjoy the exchange of data. Cool, bud. You, uh, you enjoy that. Oh, my. That's very good. Mr. Wallace Dar, please follow me. Miss Miskowitz and Dr. Dar, I will be with you momentarily. Livingston Bradwick. No way. Yes way. No way! Bivington Bradwick. Yeah, I... Yes, it's really me. From Forge's super successful Dirty 30? Yes, well done, Octavio. But, you know, I'm not the only person here associated with that vaunted list. You are too. <laughs> That's right, you are one of Forge's super successful Dirty 30. How does it feel? I feel... empty. You know, I thought this was what I wanted, but now that it's here, it's just my face in a magazine, you know? In the end, it's just my face in a magazine. But you're super successful! Yeah, but I don't feel that different. I wanted to feel different. I'm still just me. Get a time, Octavio. You're practically an overnight success! That'll take some time to sink in. Right, I almost forgot. This is for you. It grants you access to the Dirty 30 VIP room. Dirty 30 members only. <laughs> so, where is the old angel investor? Would love to party with her in chat, you know? One business side into another. Oh, the angel investor isn't here. She unwinds in more private circles. More private than this? Relax. Okay, can I offer you an overpriced drink? You seem like a man of taste. Maybe something from the booze luge. <laughs> Only select members from the VIP section can partake from the Booze Luge. It's called the Booze Luge for a reason. Slide down some booze! This is amazing. 
I gotta go find Anu and friends so they can try the booze loose. Octavio, my new best friend. Can I be real with you for a minute? Always, Bivington Bradwick. Always. These diversions are for you, the real VIP. Anu and Fran are being well taken care of, I assure you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the success you earned. You sure they're having a good time too? Oh, absolutely positive. Dar, at last! It's so great to meet you. Come on in, please. I've been dying to show you the space. Huh? Say hello to your new home away from home. Please, after you. State-of-the-art facilities, unlimited resources. Huh? A dedicated, multidisciplinary team working under you. No oversight and no Deadlines. Not to be just like super on the nose about it, but frankly, this is any scientist's dream come true. So no deadlines? Just timelines? We know better than to try and rush genius, Dr. Dar. But, but... We find putting hard deadlines on complicated projects really just results in creating anxiety where none needs to be. No. No anxiety. Not here, Dr. Dar. Not here. Seriously, this is perfect. It's like you picked this lab right out from one of my dreams. But I couldn't possibly take this lab. I have my own company and a project I'm working on, and Octavio and Fran need me, and... Okay. I understand. It's a real shame, though, because we have some problems, which, if you solve them, would change all of science. Probably even the world. Forever. Like... The type of problem where they'd name an equation after me? Equations? <laughs> More like planets. Well, that's okay. You are a busy woman with things to do. I suppose I have a few minutes. I could take a quick peek. Very fancy machine, not functional. Yeah, I know, but why? Scanning. No idea. <sighs> huh. Maybe I can review the work they've done on it so far. <laughs> this then? It's a code we've found. We're positive it has something to do with iridium energy conversion, but we haven't been able to crack it. Hmm. hmm. There's no cipher for this code in the database. I had more text to work with. I'm positive I could crack the code and translate it. <laughs> I love a well-educated cylinder. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a graduated cylinder? <laughs> oh, good one, Anu. 
an incredibly good one indeed. Let's let's scan this setup and see what else we can see, shall we? I've identified the issue, but I can see how you missed it. This fluid is not pH balanced for the reaction you're attempting to achieve. It just needs a little more base. <laughs> I said it needs a little more base. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, okay, then. <laughs> Where do they keep their alkalis? According to these readings, you are full to bursting with urine! Fantastic! <laughs> Nervous Pierre? Me too. Sometimes. All it takes is a little soothing music. It's an honor watching you work. Some soothing music would help the jabber to relax and fall into a flow state. And by flow state, I mean pee. Maybe he could pee. <laughs> Lo-fi beats that you could take a leak to. There really is a station for everything these days. Hmm. There you go. Some nice, relaxing music. <laughs> Shy? Thank you. See? This is what I've been saying all along. Nature provides us a solution to so many problems. No one blinks twice at the idea of shooting someone, but ask them to handle a little jabber urine and their worldview shatters. I mean, look! Look at what science can achieve! Now, uh, what did you need this for again? It's for hair growth. Try some. I'll pass. But thank you. No. Process. Trust science. Secrets of science kept secret, eh? It's written in the same code that's on the whiteboard. <gasps> Surely there's enough text here to crack code if I use my tech goggles to analyze it. Decrypting weird code. <sighs> Cipher unlocked. You're welcome. Hmm, 
Now that I have the code, I can translate to the whiteboard. Yes! Plus one point for Anu's genius! You cracked the code! We've been stumped on that one for weeks. What does the message say? Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. That seems like pretty life-altering advice. Huh. It's an honor watching you work. Identified the issue. You've you crossed the streams. If we are crossed, then <laughs> should be all working now. Oh, so close, but no. When you've exhausted all other options, sometimes it's best to just get physical. <laughs> yes. Working Kombucha-lizer. You... You've done it! We've been struggling with these problems for weeks on end, and you... solved them! All of them! In one day! That's... Wow! That is... Wow! Well, I... You know, sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes. <laughs> One question, though. I understand the connection between the code and the congripulizer, but how does the jabber urine factor in? Oh, it didn't. Okay, all right. Ha ha ha! Three cheers for Dr. Dar! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Fran. Rita? In the flesh. How are your sisters doing, Rita? I'm sure you've heard Rhonda made it to Forge's Dirty 30 this year. And Reva, well, I think her jealousy got the better of her. I haven't heard from her since the magazine came out. She's probably cooling off somewhere. You know how she is. Such a drama queen. Ugh. Yeah. Yep to all that. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the past. I'm here to talk about the future. Okay. And the future is the Franz Frogert franchise. You want to turn my Frogert shop into a franchise? Yes. 
The company I represent is willing to invest several trillion dollars to convert what was once your humble little shop into a galaxy-wide empire. And the cherry on top? A five billion dollar signing bonus. All for you. Five billion dollars? That's almost six billion dollars. Go ahead, take her for a spin. Make yourself a cup of Frogurt. We paid careful attention to your signature flavor profiles. You're gonna love it. See for yourself. Okay, let's see how you did with my chocolate dill pickle. Ooh, corporate fat cats keep their loot in places like this. <clears throat> Salutations. Care for a duel in a thrilling trial of Boatlanders? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, Tiny, let's go. <laughs> Your jest is hollow. For I am not Tiny. Unless you're referring to my genitals, which I lost in a buzzsaw accident. Don't care. Let's go. Select your boat lander. Maya. Maya versus Rick. I'm new to this. Either I'm really good, oh, or you suck. Both. Wait. Oh. Good boy. Dude in a trunk with no junk. Better collect all the dough in this place. I am Fran of Franz Frogers, after all. Make it rain! <gasps> hey, now. <gasps> Even better than cash. So many knickknacks. Touch everything. I hate these newfangled. Oh. 
loud. Is everything broken here? Boo? The only thing broken is you! What? What? The maintenance store only boops to boopers with pure hearts. Even the tiniest fooflet knows the secret ingredient to Froger is feelings! To enter, you have to confide your deepest, sincere, foopy feelings. I do not use that mode anymore. <sighs> Looks like someone is repressing a traumatic memory. Would you like a foop in hand? No! That's a foop in shame. You know our policy. If you want to repair, you gotta share. I can share. You want me to share something personal? Something personal. Hmm. Something personal. I never got to pork Anu. Oh, those nerdy types. Ha! You know, they're just a freak between the sheets. You're avoiding your true feelings. That boops my fooping foop. Wait, hold on. I can do it. I... I... You can't just boop a suppressed memory from thin air. You have to be relaxed. Gently foop it from your mind. I'd like to foop you from my mind. Why don't you do some chores around your store? This place could use fooping up, and the activity is sure to give your memory a foop in the pants. <laughs> Rhyming door. Ah, oh, jeez, you can't sling Froger like that. Like what? You look like foop. Total foop. A thick, steaming pile of foop. All right, I'll freshen up. Foop tastic. Please boop your foop. <laughs> no, not a chance. Nice try! It's hot glue to your skull. Can't hurt to liven this place up with some tunes. Please poop a selection. Pump it up, Promethea. Uh, 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 uh. That's not what I pooped. That's not what I pooped! This isn't a... What the... How did you even get this picture?
Wash my hands, huh? Thanks, mother. Yeah, one of those fancy schmancy zen fountains. <gasps> Namaste. I don't know how you're doing this, but something's coming out. <sighs> All right. I'm ready to share. Whoopee! I'm on loops. We were on a trip for field day. A holiday where kids gather to go look at a field? I saw a group of bullies going to town on a poor, defenseless spider ant. And if there's one thing I hate, it's bullies. What did you do? What I always did. I got mad. Only this time, I wasn't just mad. This time, I was so angry. I activated my hover chair's mecha mode. In hindsight, it was a smidge of an overreaction. But once I had those bullies in my sight, the rage, it carried me inexorably towards a conclusion I didn't yet know to dread. Caught up in my anger, I launched my... A mecha rocket freeze punch! Ooh, me! Did they survive? Um, no, not at all. Neither did that poor spider ant. In fact, it sort of set off what I'd later call my big murder whoopsie. I hit those suckers so hard, they're flying through the air, already dead, and they hit a nearby sitting tank of field gas. What's field gas? Gas for the field. The better question is, what was it doing sitting there full that afternoon when the field should have been gassed up already? Anyways, these guys hit the tank, and it's a small explosion. More people died, and they weren't even bullies. I couldn't believe it. And that's when I saw the answer. It was so obvious, right in front of my face, surrounded by other possible options. The water tower! But instead of putting out the fire like it was supposed to do, it just made things worse. Water spreads fire when the original source is oil. Fuel gas being oil. I know that now. The buildings and train station and passing train around the field all went up. More lives lost. I was just trying to help. I would call this my somewhat bigger murder whoopsie. First the bullies, then the field gas explosion. Now I'd been betrayed by water? There was just so much destruction. So much death. I was trapped in a cyclone of emotions. But what I felt most, honestly, weirdly turned on. Anyway, that's how I learned at a young age a painful truth. I am a monster. My inability to control my anger resulted in unimaginable destruction and death. I vowed then and there never to use mecha mode again, but of course that vow wasn't enough to save me from the worst punishment Promethea can lay on a person. Compulsory anger management. Ooh. Now that's a foopin' feeling! That's the key to Fran's family-friendly feeling foopin' Froger's! You've shared. Now, you can repair. Milking pump malfunction.
function. Milking pump non function. No! <laughs> Milking pump non function. What have they done to you? That milk pump or milk provider will be terminated. I gotta milk you with that machine. Remember to poop it with a smile. Go ahead, explore the space. After all, it's your space. Unholy evils that dwell in this frogurt. Delicious, right? So, are you in or are you out? Take your time, about 10 seconds worth of it. This was a trap. To emotionally devastate you, yes! <laughs> and it worked! <laughs> so does my freeze ray. Panic. I'll come by and thaw you out later. Nah, I won't. So, Franz Froger. Was that all your idea? My body is just a vessel for the genius of the universe. Asking whether it's my idea is like asking the world's largest, smartest, coolest tree whether it's the tree's idea to grow toward the sun. Profound, but also confusing. That's some great PR! Oh, thank you. I've thought about what I'd say in my entry for a while. <laughs> hey, yo! This song is my jam! This party's a little dead. Totally dead. Why don't you and I head to the VVIP section? <laughs> There's a VVIP section? Here. The more successful you are, the weirdest stuff you're into. <laughs> no, 
Octavio, here in the VVIP section, you find refined recreations for the discerning entrepreneur. <sighs> Care to stick your face in the belcher? <laughs> uh -huh. An elite courtesy from the angel investor. Only 11 people in the world have enjoyed mouth gas from the voucher. I'm not that into drugs. Especially from amphibians I don't recognize. Strange. And all this time I thought you were cool. I mean, you are cool. Aren't you, Octavio? I don't know if the angel investor would deign to meet someone who isn't cool. <laughs> of course I'm cool. I'm the coolest. I am in the super successful Dirty 30, right? Your logic holds. <sighs> I still wish Onu and Fran were here to see how cool I am. Everyone is wearing masks. Are you sure they aren't here already? Good point. Anu, Fran, come try the Belcher. It's for VVIPs. You did it. You actually did it. Full stabilization readings, a perfect fusion reaction. The congripulizer is fully functional. And the best part is, you did it without using the potassium magnesium channels. Absolutely brilliant. You truly have a mind unlike any other. Simply put, you've changed science forever. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dar, this is your discovery, your hard work. Would you like to do the honors and activate the congripulizer for its first trial run? It would be my honor. She's heading to the observation room. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cage. <laughs> the observation room. I believe there's been a mistake. This is actually a cage. I'm so sorry. We'll get right on that. You're not doing anything. You put me in a cage. Amazing. Dr. Dar figured it out. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Dr. Dar, thank you for your invaluable contributions. Dar, you're taking me, huh? You, you, you're all bullies! Stop applauding! It's patronizing! <laughs> Woo! This party is hot! I should take my shirt off. Or we could go to the VVVIP room. The VVVIP room? Welcome to the VVVIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. Th this isn't a VVVIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. This is a cage! 
An exclusive cage. No, a cage cage. You tricked me. Don't think of it as tricked. In the business world, we, well, <laughs> we also call it tricked. Is this because I didn't do the belcher? It certainly didn't help your case. But no, no, you were always going to end up here, Octavio. Let me out! Let me out! Anyone? Please help me! He tricked me! I'm a super successful Dirty 30! Ock? Anu? Oh, yes. Right there. Put your data right there. prefer not to. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't ask. Now, battle! Gosh, God damn it, anyway. Come here. <sighs> Select your Rollander. Fall. Fall versus Moe. Fallander! Fight! Hoo-hoo! Oh! Oh! Super Bowl Combo! Toasty! Ho-ho! <laughs> now, all Super Bowl Combo! Land Rippin'! I won. Wait. I won! <laughs> Who's the best Vaultlander competitor in the galaxy? Friend, yes! Eat it, you teeth, your trash! You can't have won. Who's depending on this? I needed that W! Between you and me, pal, maybe it's time you got a new hobby. Maybe a new job with an employer that values you? There's food for thought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Thanks. Maybe I'll, uh, catch you later? Yeah, I hope not. Wow. Louis, wake up! I gotta yuck your yum. I apologize in advance. Why did you do 
that, I was happy. A smorgasbord of sensations. It was true bliss. I think our children have got themselves into trouble. We better go find them. Our children? In this metaphor, would I be the daddy? Ah, uh, you are the daddy. I am the daddy, yes. What happened while I was diverted? Oh, I relived my suppressed life-defining trauma and then witnessed my own personal evil and all of its ugliness and terror. Oh, and I also milked a spider ant to make yogurt. From your tone, I surmise this is not how yogurt is typically made. Look, the people here are bad. Very bad. We gotta go find our two dum-dums before they get themselves killed. Come on. Octavio, you too! We've got to get out of here! We've got to think of something, some way to break out! This is all part of my plan. In a few moments, I'm springing myself out of here. How? I, I said it's part of the plan. I don't have the other part yet. Dumb! 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 So dumb! Okay, I admit I partied a little hard, but that's to be expected. I made Forge's super successful Dirty 30. Oh my god. Don't you get it? You didn't make that stupid list. It's just one more scam you fell for because reality won't enter your thick skull. That's why you're sitting in a cage. You never think things through, Octavio. Oh. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I must have mistaken you for someone who also got trapped in a cage! Listen, I... There you idiots are! I leave you alone for ten minutes, and you both get caught by TDR? <laughs> you don't have to freeze. You're not a threat. You two, drop your weapons! Loud and fast-like! I mean, soft and slow-like! You... you always mess that up! Not now! Please, don't undermine me in front of the targets! Hey, I'm a threat! I may be stuck here, but not for long. Give me a minute. My entire body is a weapon. Then drop it! As you wish. Oi! Is that a weapon? N no. Drop it anyway! Drop it! Was exactly as easy as I expected it to be. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Aww, cute. Doesn't make a difference. You get over here and I'll put my fist through your. <laughs> the company that made your chair? I acquired it ages ago, and I can control it. Any way I please. And 
You can make the chair do fart noises. Hey, you want to talk to the guy in charge? I'm right here. Here's how it is. Do as I say, or you, and obviously they, die. Now, the device, please. Anu, what are you doing? Just don't hurt anyone. Well, even if I do, now I've got the gun to fix it. It's not. When spoken to, dear. I'll also be taking your echo decks. Never! What's next? You gonna break Louie? Why would you even say that? No need. I think your robot friend will discover he left that little melding of the minds with some dirty data packets. Now that you mention it, some of the data I just exchanged was unscrupulous. It was all unprotected. They even used my back port. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I'm riddled with STDs. Software transmitted diseases. I need a moment to run diagnostics and swab my system. Really swab my system. This is your plan? Lock us in cages and hurt our feelings and give us diseases and ah, steal our invention and what? Mass produce it? That's not gonna work. We own the patent. <laughs> okay. You can laugh, but our investor isn't going to be too happy about this. The mystery caller who jumped in to bail us out of sink or swim has our backs. We may not know who they are exactly, but they're somewhere around here. And anyone that could just drop a few billion on us out of the blue, quite obviously, has a lot of resources that should not be crossed. And I'm just now realizing it's you. It's you're, you're the angel investor. And there it is. Well, golly, sure would be nuts if I just bought myself a rich to hit translator and funded my own competition. <laughs> Yuck. Wait. That box is the angel investor? Wow. Here's what happens now. Anu, you're coming with me. Kill the others. Ah. Uh. Kill the himbo last. He means the most to her. Wait, wait, wait. If you lay a hand on them, I won't tell you anything about the shard. What makes you think I need you? Well, see, my stake. <laughs> what makes a cowpoke like you think a gunslinger like me's got any more use for you than a grizzly bear's got for a unicycle in a river rapid? Ugh. I thought we fixed this auto-translate. The UI team is gonna pay for this. See, you don't even understand your own Echo Dex. You don't have a chance with the Shard without me. If they die, I won't tell you a thing. You'll be stuck. Hmm. Actually, <laughs> never mind. No, I've just thought of a much better use for them. You've just earned yourselves front row seats to the hottest show in town. <laughs> Men, raise the curtain. It's showtime. So many familiar faces here today. <laughs> Shut up! Wainwright, Reese, Torg, Karagawa Senior, Athena. Ah, oh, undoubtedly it was your communal sense of self-preservation that motivated you to be here this evening. Well, that and the fact that none of you would let the others get the competitive edge. But now, you ask yourselves, why am I here? And the answer is... A demonstration. <laughs> oh.
Oh, I have gathered you together for a mercifully one-night-only opportunity. To merge with Tidior, or face your swift and utter annihilation. <laughs> See, since the beginning of civilization, we have pioneered ways to hurt one another. From the stick to the stone, to the stick with a stone tied to the end of it, and onward throughout the ages, to the laser sploder, the rebel yell, and who can forget the iconic face melter? Hmm? <laughs> Each one a rung on the ladder toward power, a ladder that we all race to climb. But, thanks to the research efforts of Tidior, and a few very gracious volunteers. <laughs> Bring me the buffoon! That one. Ugh. Hey, good to see ya! How's it going? Got a new power suit? Hey, Reese. Hey, Honu, it's your old boss. Let's uh, network after this. Synergize, talk through some new invops. That's investment opportunities. Look, Tavio! <laughs> Gotta tell ya, not getting the best vibe from this being trapped on stage thing. Louis! Wake up and kill her! Bad luck. He won't be firing a shot anytime soon. Hmm. I bested you, Anu. I've been one step ahead all along. I own you now, quite literally. So be a pet and cooperate. Arr. Now you may be aware of what the less imaginative among you have been calling green iridium. You've also likely heard by now that my pursuit of it is the entire reason for my invasion of Atlas and this planet. That shard before you is a crystal of such extreme rarity that only a privileged few have ever viewed with their own eyes. Well, at least until Dr. Dar showcased it and its incredible healing properties to the entire planet while begging for money on sink or swim. Begging? Like, no. But what Dr. Dar did not know was that the shard that she and her team of imbeciles had acquired was, in fact, the missing half of a true youth pair. A second shard? This seems, and stop me if I'm being pessimistic, but not great. They're a set? Did we know they came in a set? Are they worth more money in a set? Oh, <laughs> so much more. Hmm. And what the good doctor didn't show you, perhaps because she had no idea, was that the power of these shards can be wielded in more ways than one. Hmm? Dangerous, yes? Don't worry, in line with her recent groundbreaking research with Iridium, uh, work that the world's biggest idiot discarded. Um, despite how loud that mustache is, Reese, you, you, you're on mute. As I was saying, Dr. Dar harnessed this most magnificent healing power with a simple, classic ray gun. Oh, we have her device here. The Hippocratic something or other. Doesn't matter. We'll be changing it soon. <laughs> hmm. Quaint, isn't it? Who'd have thought that the idiot CEO of Atlas would overlook and cancel such a quaint little ray gun? If I might interject to elaborate on a point? Yes? Let us go! Ooh. Huh. Uh, this device harnesses, concentrates, and amplifies the shard's effects. Now, thanks to some experiments in our lab earlier, Dr. Dar helped us. Iterate on the idea a bit. Hmm. Now, as I begin this demonstration, it is vital that you keep this fact at the front of your minds. Tidior is in possession of the only two extant Anahadium shards in existence. Oh. oh, I deny my esteemed competition the demonstration that I promised them? Meh, I don't think so. <laughs> As 
as you are about to witness, the race to the top is over. I won! <laughs> now you have two choices. You can posture uselessly until I raise your company to the ground and strike your names from the history books, or B, accept defeat, merge your companies with TDR, keep your lives, and call me boss. Hmm? Go on, call me boss. <laughs> Go to hell! Scathing. Who's the boss? Suck it, Granny. Killed him, but he didn't give me what I wanted. Hmm. makes it simple to save a life. But the other makes killing on a massive scale as easy as breathing. See, with this simple process of rinse and repeat, you can, in fact, do far more than simply kill. You can obliterate even the most defiant spirit. Now, who's the boss? You were the boss. <laughs> and that is what I'm selling. God, forget about death. Death is so easy, so passe. I am marketing total, absolute submission. God, with these shards, I can take a city, a civilization, an entire planet, and bend it to its knees. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, Chief. What is this? The shards! We're freeing the shards! Holy... F -f 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 <gasps> How are other half? No! 
them, kill them all, or face permanent termination! Ah! Here's an experiment. Let's turn Dr. Dar's healing device into a harming device. Hmm? Put Dr. Dar in the lab, put her idiot brother in a cell as leverage. As for the others, incinerate them. Uh, do you mean that literally? Yeah, or, or is it like a poetic license? I do not care. That is the point, you incompetent buffoons. They are not worth my consideration. Just kill them. Yeah. All great stories must come to an end. And this one, uh, it's filled with blood, bullets, death, heartache, and a smidge of redemption. Like one big old lasagna from hell. It's not looking good for our heroes, who had each been fooled and seduced from their own egos. The Dingus fancied himself a celebrity. The nerd believed she was saving the world with all her science. And the rage monster finally dealt with her. What's the clinical phrase? Old crap. Too late, they discovered there's no such thing as a free lunch or a multi-million dollar investment from a mysterious benefactor. Coldwell had them and the whole world in her clutches. The rage monster set for execution. The dingus imprisoned and out of Echodex service. The nerd dissected and discarded. And Promethea. The first target in Tidior's gambit for galactic takeover. What can I say? Fate has no patience for character arcs. And sometimes, the people with the alien-powered super weapons intent on destroying the world win. Not every great story has a happy ending. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the lasagna. to see you. You've got to help me. <laughs> Just open the cage and... Aww, cute little jabber. This lab's your whole world, isn't it? I am not a jabber. I'm a scientist with a degree and books. I think someone needs to be tickled. Fong, no, I do not need to be tick. 
Jiggly, 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 too. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tickle train. Choo choo. <laughs> I've evaded your probing tickles. Hey, don't be scared, little Jabber. I'm not. Okay. I'm a little scared. Can we just stop and discuss this like adults? Ah, oh, cute little Jabber thinks she's talking. I am talking. 24 hours. 24 hours to make this work. Wait. I remember this. This was the day... I was sleep-deprived, running on stale cereal and old coffee. I hadn't bathed in weeks. I leave for a minute and you're fooling around? Completely useless. Ah, <sighs> Is that really what I said to her? It's not what you said, but it is how you sounded. What's the difference? That's the right question, but not for me to answer. After all, this is your mind laid bare. What, I wonder, are you trying to show yourself? <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? You relegate blame. Don't you see? This lab, the jabber, these humans. This is your memory. My presence is... The solvent of this reality. What do you mean? Uh, I don't have time for this. None of this makes any sense. Consider, Dr. Dar, that the answers you are seeking lie outside the bounds of what is logical. Octavio, he's hurt. I have to get back to him. No, come back. What the hell is a jabber doing in my lab? You know my feelings on animal testing. Release it. I tried. This one keeps coming back. I think it loves to work the wheel. You're free to go, Jabber. I'm not a Jabber. I'm you. Metaphysically. But if we work together, we can... You're right. She does want to work the wheel. Let's begin. Before we do, I thought we could grab dinner in the mess hall first. Take a break. I don't know. Talk about non-work stuff. I'm sort of having a hard time. Exactly right, Fong. We've wasted enough time. Start it up. You weren't really listening to her. Signal moderate, temperature delta 10 degrees, power shift 2 joules. Not good enough. I need an equilibrium. Increase speed. Before we do, can I... I am pitching tomorrow. I know. Increase speed. You could do things differently. Stop. Listen. Well, what's the output? Signal holding. Temperature delta 7.8. Power shift 1.6. Getting there, but not nearly enough. Triple it. Surely it's close. Close? You don't get a breakthrough with close. You don't impress Reese with close. I really need to go home early. I'm feeling really burnt out. If we could just pause, just for a second. What did I just say? We're not leaving this lab until I see perfect results or the jobber stop running. Increasing speed. You're only running from yourself at this point. Are you so afraid to confront your mistakes? She isn't working. Uh, why won't she work? Anu, my mother. Today is the first anniversary of her passing. Oh, Fong. 
I had no idea. I had no idea. This isn't how you acted back then. You got so obsessed with changing the world, you've lost sight of everything. Everyone else. What good is saving the world if you stopped caring about the people in it? I'm sorry, Fong. I'm sorry, Fong. <laughs> What is all this? Some kind of twisted test? Why are you doing this? Our consciousnesses are joined, that much is true. I have been with you ever since we first connected to my Iridian prison, but this... You are doing this to yourself, yes. Fascinating. Why me? Because you can't do it to anyone else. No, I mean, why me? Why did you connect with me? Ah. Something about your nervous system makes you very compatible. It could be your desire to heal the world. A thirst for justice. The fact you harbor an ancient wound doesn't matter. I'm not looking a gift host in the mouth. You are my opportunity to survive and reconnect. I must take it. If I'm a host, that makes you a parasite. That is cruel. And hurtful, and I'm an ascended being. I'm above this. I'm above this. You said I'm doing this to myself? Yes. I've healed you physically over and over. Now you seem to be channeling my energy inward. But why would I? <laughs> I can poke you with an electrified stick, but you could just tell me. Well, that's very rude, but also sufficient. Why does it matter if I'm alive? Don't ask me the deep questions. I'm just a guard. All I know is that I'm supposed to log on my timesheet whether or not you're alive and which day you stop being alive. And today, you're alive. Whoopee. Alive. Dead. Alive. Dead again. Alive again. Dead again. Again. Alive! Yeah, 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 that. That was a hell of a demonstration. You don't have to, uh, talk about it. Nothing to talk about. Good. You know what the worst part of it is? Uh, no. I don't actually care. I mean, I feel like you're under the impression I do. That, that, that's, that was a mistake. A terrible mistake. That I'm a failure. That every dream I ever had, even if they were stupid, they're all dead now. But that's uh, all in the past, right? You gotta stay present, uh, mindful. How do you feel now? I'm worth less than pretty much everyone else. I'm gonna be honest, this is not what I was expecting from this shift. Uh, I sort of thought you'd be like all the other prisoners, you know, trying to finagle your way out of here, or to bribe me, or... Uh, what are you doing? Okay, wow, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna find something else to do. Um, pee. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go pee. Any specifics as to the method of dispatch, ma'am? What? No! Never call me directly again. Sorry. Uh, can I, can I text? No! Bollocks. Hope you're not expecting this to be quick. You killed a lot of our friends. You don't even remember doing it, did 
do you? Figures. You're not taking this seriously enough. You murdered our friends. And now you're going to die. Stop it! You're ruining this for me. Whatever. Shut up. You're gonna be so executed. Ta-da! Had it built in case you fell for the little investment offer. Now you get to die here. Ain't it fun? That's right. Drink it in. You're gonna kill me in a fake Froger shop. Okay, y'all are nerds. <laughs> That's cute. Almost sounds like you believe yourself. <laughs> I had to see this with my own eyes. Fran Miskowitz, finally beaten and bested. <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? Oh, what? Are you gonna try and freeze me again? My sisters were right about you. Your epinephrine levels are increasing rapidly. Please pause to consider something other than the consequences of your actions. Wow. Never did get past those anger problems, did you? After all this time and all that effort, where are you? Right back where you started. Alone. Angry. In a lousy little froyo shop. I thought it'd be fun to watch you die, but now I realize it'd just be... Pathetic. Toodles, Francine. I hope it hurts. A lot. It's a TDO, hover chair, remember? CEO Coldwell sent us all the apps to control it. How many times you gotta learn this lesson? Louis, 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 kill them! I cannot. There is no contract for... C c c c c can you at least hurt them? Hurt? One either kills or they don't. Assassination bots do not, as you say, half ass it. What good are you? Oh. I know what he's good for. But I 
still mostly like to shoot things. Problem is, you brought Necto decks to my gun fight! See what I did there? I shot your precious Echo decks. Because I could. Because that's the kind of gun I am! I'm a renegade. <clears throat> it was already garbage. Been meaning to get an upgrade anyway. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. Not upset. Not upset at all. <laughs> Here you are. Locked up. Precious Echo Deck shattered. You're defenseless. And now I can watch you rot like a pile of old beans. Pile of old beans? Silence! Piles of old beans can rot if you leave them out long enough. I don't have to justify myself. I've injured enough of your humiliation. Dumb KBO! From what? From everything! Example? Well, I don't know! There's so many things! I can't think of anything specifically! If you can't even think of one thing... Whoa. Maybe you should let him bounce back a little. I mean, look at him. Here. Sniff this scented candle. Nice. I also have a sandalwood, which I find very relaxing. Ah! Nobody asked for your stupid candle! Why can't you just put me out of my misery so we can get this over with? Because, you insolent twerp, killing you is the last thing I want to do. Even if I ignored Susan's orders to keep you alive as leverage, death's too easy! Whoa, whoa! Hold on. What? What? Why are you suddenly so perky? Is it from my scented candle? I'm pretty sure I just heard you say that you, a literal gun, has orders from Susan Coldwell to not kill me. Well, what did he do? Wow, correct. Exactly one person in the entirety of the six galaxies gives exactly one skag as to whether or not you live or die. Because you may hold some tangential value as leverage, over your uncooperative and super valuable sister. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Congratulations! Now, back to my ultimate revenge plot. Ah! Oh. Uh. What? What? What are you doing? This is a hostage situation. Everybody back off. I mean it! Hands up and get out of my way, or I get it! Put me down right frickin' now! You can't do this! Ow! You think I won't? He really is crazy! You could've just shot! In the air. I know, I know. Forgot we don't have a healing shard lying around. Oh, I'm just gonna walk it off. I'm gonna walk it off. Let him walk it off. There. I'm good. I'm good. Deactivate the bars. Deactivating bars. You! Get in there! You know what? Good for you. <laughs> um, how do I... Button on your left. 
<laughs> now who's the boss? You are. <laughs> and contract uploaded. <gasps> Louis! <laughs> Louis! <laughs> what did you do? Oh, <laughs> we just uploaded a bounty contract and that red laser. Hello! Is your name Red Laser? Please confirm your name is Red Laser. Come on! Robots are supposed to be smart! He'll be busy for a long time. All right, let's smash this one with a thick, blunt object. We're gonna kill you. Hurry up and find something heavy. I wanna catch, sink, or swim tonight. You sit tight, beefcakes. Warning! You are getting angry! Consider it is just a robot. Consider it is not really your friend. Consider you do not have friends. She, uh, seems to be getting mad. I think it's because I called her beefcakes. If that got her upset, imagine how she'd react if she knew what the boss was doing to Octavio. What is your boss doing to Octavio? Aha! Uh -huh. You can't flee forever, Red Laser. What is your boss doing to Octavio? That's as fast as you can go. Shut up! It's heavy. Whatever. Uncle be fine. He can handle himself. You don't believe that. Nah, I don't believe that. Say hi to your Helen friends. I mean... Say hi to your friends in hell! Congratulations, Francine! Your life will conclude without breaking your anger-filled rampage streak! I was good! I controlled myself. And at the end of the day, I still get murked by these jackasses! Susan frickin' Coldwell is still drawn breath. Careful, Francine! Shut up. My freaking friends are captured! If they even are my friends, given how we treat each other. Just breathe, Francine. I am breathing. I won't shut up! Now, now, there's no need to use that kind of language. Shut up! Are eliminated. Contract complete. What? Nothing. Error, error, anger overload. Primary objective failed. 
Nah, that's you. You failed, and I am done with having a sponsor bot. Mwah! <coughs> Error! Excessive anger detected. Activating self-defense mode. Okay. I'm not a jabber. That's an improvement. What in the... what? Am I? Octavio? Oh, this is bad. This is bad! Maybe I should go back to being a jabber. Oh, the sweet comfort of being a jabber. Stop! Get a hold of yourself, Anu. This is your consciousness. Exert control. Take charge. Demand. Demand. I'm going to demand. Yeah? Yep. I'm definitely Octavio. Your other half. I don't know if I'd call him my other half. I mean, he's my brother, sure. Not by blood. No, not by blood. So, is it by obligation or choice? What do you mean? When we fused, you overpowered me in an effort to save him. Why? Where the heck have you been? You're supposed to be packed by now! Jeez! Do I really sound like that? I sound... I sound so... overbearing. Like an alarm with a broken snooze button. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going. What? I'm not going to Atlas with you. I heard you. I'm just trying to fathom how moronic you're acting. I wanted to talk to you about it. There's nothing to talk about. I'm giving you a golden ticket off this dumpster fire of a planet, and you're squandering it. Oof. That's harsh. Atlas is not my golden ticket. I knew it. You're too scared to leave the nest. Still aimlessly goofing around like a teenager. Do you remember what he said next? I don't know what you're still doing here. You don't even know what you're still doing here. You're right. There's nothing to talk about because you refuse to listen. I'll listen when you have something to say worth hearing. Okay, that didn't come out right. No wonder I don't remember what he said. I was too focused on convincing him that what I wanted was right for both of us. It caused a rift. Now isn't the time for debate. I bought your ticket. You're going. End of discussion. I'm not leaving everything because you get a fancy job at Atlas. It's the chance of a lifetime. Yeah, your lifetime. I have dreams of my own. Like what? I'm going to start a business. <laughs> I never took him seriously. Not even a little. <laughs> really? I have the work ethic, the street smarts, the connections. Wake up, Octavio! You're living a delusion! No! Okay. Look at this logically. You need some income, right? Now that I'm running my own lab, I can get you an entry-level job at Atlas. Most likely something in sanitation or food services. Maybe a secretary job, if you can answer calls like an adult. Why didn't he want to go with you, Anu? It's not the self-made businessman track, but it's better than you lying in a ditch. Octavio made tough choices to survive. Choices I didn't approve of. I always focused more on his faults than his aspirations. This is my path. My destiny is here. Do you have any concrete, logical, evidence-based rationale for that? Didn't think so. Please, I don't want to see any more. Why? Because what I did next broke us. This is my home. Fine. Stay here then. You belong with the trash! God, I am so embarrassed that you're my brother! There's nothing intelligent, ambitious, or worthwhile in you. I've wasted so much time and energy protecting you. 
for nothing. I'm done. After that, we always felt separated. You two can never undo that rift. Never unmake that harm. No. But we can still reach each other. Impossible. This is your past. Then I have to step outside the past and view it. Compassionately. My mind. My rules. Let's bridge this divide. I was so fixated on who was right, as if it could only be one of us. Reevaluate my beliefs. I originally believed he didn't value my opinion. Now, though, I'm seeing he values it a lot. <sighs> Try and see his point of view, even if I don't agree with it. Try and understand how he feels. No matter what, we're both always doing our best. That's enough and all anyone can ask for. You've constructed... A bridge of empathy. A cute trick for us humans, if we do the work. Sis? Octavio, I... What I said before, it wasn't true. But I think I finally understand. All you've wanted from me was... Reframing your regrets. Empathy for the past. Very curious. To be heard. I hear you. I didn't respect you enough to let you make your own decision. And it was me who was scared. By holding on, I was holding you back. You've seen how far I've come? You really can succeed on your own. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so sorry. You may be fixed here. Out there, you're still broken. Yes. I suppose I am. Wait. I understand now. Why I'm trapped here. Yes. Now, Mugshot. Over! What the? What an interesting turn of events. Your rage has reached such critical levels that Sponsorbot's only recourse is to turn into a killing machine and murder you. Sponsorbot knows you better than anyone. It can anticipate your every move. Might I suggest a new combat style? Perhaps something turn-based. Warning! You have finally succumbed to your fury! Your worst fears about yourself are true! You will always be an angry, selfish murderer! As a reward for our many years together, I am pleased to offer you the 13th step! Swift Death! Take your time! Last words can be tough! 
Who gives a rat's ass what you think? You're just a judgy little dickhead bot. I'm pretty sure you care, considering you kept me intact all this time. Fear not. Once you're dead, you'll no longer be burdened by angry outbursts. That's not really a consolation. We'll discuss it when you're dead. I do my best work when I'm pissed. I'm supposed to apologize for that? Fun fact! An inability to control your emotions is not, in fact, a skill. Passive aggression! Come on! Come on! Bring down the hammer! Oh, Francine. You know, there are no shortcuts to rehabilitation. I uh, sick of being judged. And I'm sick of being angry. And I'm sick of you! And right now, I'm managing them to whoop your ass! Woo! Francine, you've done it! My secret plan to make you accept yourself by condescending and kneeling you until you realize the true path to rehabilitation went off without a hitch. I'm so happy you... Dude, chill. Oh, <laughs> cool. Ice punch. Didn't even mean to. They can't kill me. Famous last words. Yo, listen up! This is a hostage situation. No one move. No one even think about moving. Um, Rock? Is he just holding you to his head? Just shoot him! Don't you think I would have done that already? He can't. And neither can you. Or Susan Coldwell will incinerate all of you. She does that, right? Oh, yeah! So, uh, no one move, or I sh shoot me with this Brock. You think he's bluffing? I don't know. I was about to take lunch. I mean, what's the point in going on anyway? I'm not a VIP. I was never on Forge's super successful Dirty 30. Maybe I should just end it all! No, wait! You have so much to live for. Yeah? Like what? It's a trap! Don't answer that! Okay. Okay. What are your demands? My demands? Oh, yeah. My demands. I've been thinking about so many demands. Tell me where Anu is. Uh, the doctor from the tea talks Oh, she's in a secret restricted area. Which secret restricted area? Uh, we don't know. It's, it's a secret. Oh. The logic's pretty solid. All right. Well, my demands are met. I'm getting the hell out of here. Hold it! Why don't you turn around and put the gun on the ground? Or I'll blow my brains all over this hallway! You're not the only one who can play hostage. You think I won't? You think I won't? Do you think we won't? Just shoot me! Just 
want you to know that I hate you, and this has not made me respect you more at all. Oh no, my feelings. So that one guy's head, right? The hell? Well, if it isn't Bivington Bradwick, Mr. VIP himself. Or was it VVIP? I lost track after you put me in a cage! Listen, I know things got weird at that party. Between you and me, Susan really knows how to kill a vibe, you know? <laughs> and me! She killed me! Like a bunch of times! At the tea talk, I saw! I was like, what? What? <laughs> you know? Man! I mean, Susan hired me to trap you, but that was just so not Namaste. So I totally get that you're feeling a little like so many feelings, but mainly feeling a little like I should take revenge on everyone who put me here. Whoa, hey, come on. I am not the bad guy here. You put me in a cage. Actually, you put you in a cage. <laughs> Shut up, gun! <laughs> Look, you've got the wrong impression of me. I first thought you were a fame-thirsty idiot. But look at everything you've done here. That's brains. Literally, brains. You don't know who I am, where I've been, the things I've seen. I was in prison. For 30 minutes. That's amazing. I mean, that's the kind of experience that can really impress Silver Spoon investment brats. Like you? Oh. Not unlike me. <sighs> Look, you've been a pathetic nobody hustler for your whole life. You're so low on the ladder, Susan Coldwell's only keeping you alive as leverage. She doesn't care about your potential. But I do. Put down the talking gun, and let me make you a superstar, Octavio. Let me make you a real VIP. Nah, I'm good. You hate me more than Bivington, right? Right? checking this wall directory, but every room looks the same. Oh yeah, tell me about it. I get lost here all the time. Wait a minute. We're not on the same side. Don't move. Fran! Ah, good. You are alive. Want some tea? Uh, sure. Splendid brew some tea. Uh, there isn't any tea. Pity. Shall we bone? What? 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 Where's Anu? After your horrendous torture, Susan mentioned taking your sister to a lab. Is that where you're going? I was going... You know, I don't know where I was going. I sort of picked up this gun and walked around. Well, let's just kick down every door until we find her. Door number 108. Where's my sister? Uh, oh. This is Susan's office. Hot. Diggity donuts. Yeah. Woo! Did that improve your mood? A little. 
Well, spread out! There's gotta be something in here that'll tell us where to find Anu. Sure thing, but before we do that... You're special to me. I know. So special. Thanks. I'm giving you an air hug. <laughs> I'm giving you one back. Guns can form and I would. Oh, your feelings are disgusting. Come on. Louis, guard the door while we look around. Affirmative. I'll stay here and summon the guards with my mind. You can do that? No. But I can try. I can try! <laughs> oh, shit. Wow! This office is amazing! This is your first time in Susan's office? Oh, no, I mean, it's amazing how this office never changes! Because I spend so much time in here. <laughs> because I'm such close personal friends with Susan Caldwell. We, uh, we, we have a time share together. It's, 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 it's really exclusive. Um, uh, we go together like peanut butter and guns. Chunky peanut butter and bullets guns. Ooh, feel like I'm sweating bullets in here. I forgot. Humans are slow. Louis, can you plug yourself into a terminal here? Why would I do that? So you can access the mainframe and find Anu? Oh, so you think just because I'm a robot, I can plug myself into a terminal? We're both machines. Machines love plugging themselves into machines. That's... I, I didn't mean... A little reductive, don't you think? It's these ignorant, anti-mechanistic attitudes that hurt robots everywhere. I'm sorry. I never meant to offend you. It's okay. I, these confrontations just tend to drain my battery. I'm going to go plug myself into the first socket I see. Ah! The bigger the statue, the bigger the butt. I'm still a fan of the shooting you all in the head idea. Base directory. Where's Anu? The rash goes. It's a decoy computer. <laughs> no, no, no. No button tells me what to do. Is this Susan's Equidex? The Supreme Deluxe Model! Ultra thin titanium bezel, 12 cameras, long lasting iridium battery. This isn't even in stores yet! Ark. Let me just try one app. Ooh, TDR Friend Maker. I wonder what it does. Uh, we don't have time for you to make friends. Let me at least try one button. But cool! 
If I can find a terminal, I can probably track Anu through the surveillance system with this baby. Get a load of big suits. What an ugly mug. Would be a real shame if someone broke her face. A real shame. My finger slipped. Fran! Did I do that? Any ideas on how we can find Anu? Yeah. Shh. Computer! Find Anu. Find Anu. That's all I got. Let's see what we got on your background, friend. Anybody else wanna punch something for no reason? Uh, most likely to burst a blood vessel. Impressive. True. Uh, most likely to pork the principal? Less impressive. But true. Um, I think we're done. Who wants to give me an oil bath? Voltlander lying on You fell right into my perfectly laid trap. No, I didn't. You fell from an air duct. Did I? Yes. Well, now you have to hang out with me. Because of the trap, that's the rule. Hey, I know that weirdo. He's obsessed with Voltlanders. And we're playing. And if I win, you have to live in the air duct and breathe asbestos. You've been breathing asbestos? Let's play! Select your ball lander. Mordecai. Mordecai versus Handsome Jack. Impressive. You have learned all I can teach you. You didn't teach me anything. And now, I shall disappear into the unknown. What are you talking about? <coughs> are you trying to crawl in the air duct? You can't see. It's too smoky. Ooh, I can scrub the surveillance system and find Anu. Password protected? Of course. Just guess it! That never works! 
She likes money. Try money. That's stupid. Try money. <sighs> it didn't work. Needs a number. Try money one. <sighs> Forget it. Try millions of money. Big box. Bitch of box of bags of moolah. Dough. Lots of dough. Cashola. Give me moolah. Seven, seven, seven. I don't know why. Just like seven. All right. Let me just hack into the terminal with Susan's fancy new Equidex. No, wait. My fancy new Equidex. So sleek. So powerful, so expensive. The ultimate symbol of a true VIP. Just holding it, I feel like a boss. <laughs> Such a boss. Such a boss. I'm a boss. I'm forgetting myself, I need to hack this thing. Curse you, sexy Equinox. All right, now with Susan's firewall, this could take... I'm in! <laughs> Lightning fast! Never leave me, fancy Aquadex. Never. What are you doing? <sighs> it's mine. You can't tear us apart. It's not my type. We're here for the terminal. Right. The terminal. Looks like they're keeping Anu in a lab. Here, Sector Zeta. That's an Omega. That's what I said. Are we ready to rescue Anu and get the fudge out of here? It's hero time. You said I'm fixed here, but I'm not. And I can't be who I want to be out there until I make peace with who I really am and what I've done. And I'm starting with you. You told everyone on Promethea you took a job at Atlas so you could change the world. I wanted to be seen changing the world. I never pondered what that actually meant. You can adapt, Anu. Grow. I always saw that. Which is why I think I hired you. Or why I think you think you hired me. Right. Exactly. But the truth is, I took the job because I was desperate for approval and acceptance. My acceptance? Yes. In a way, I admired you. You're a hero, an entrepreneur. Keep going. The people you deem intelligent? Did you really need me to tell you you're intelligent? No. I always knew that. I just didn't trust it. Then, do you need me? A manifestation of your boss to tell you to trust yourself? No. I could do that on my own. You're seeing yourself more clearly now. She's resisting the incision. Increase the temperature. Try 4,000 degrees. You're in the heart of the right place. Just remember to breathe. Why can't we just cut to the heart? This wall is a construct of my own mind. It's just a mental barrier. <sighs> what? I face walked through it! Oh, oh, face walk! Oh, oh, face walk! Oh, you know who else face walks? Lilith the Siren. Lilith face walks, I face walk, transitive property. I'm like Lilith. Whoa! 
Undefiled by a rocherous load. You don't have to talk like that here. Say what you mean. You killed me. It was self defense. It was murder. I never intended. Intention? The violence remains. I thought darkness only lurked in other people, bad people. But it's also within me. You're proof of that. You reflect. Give your sin meaning. That is courage. Walk this. I always dreamed of being a siren. And this is a lucid dream space. Maybe I can also. Face grasp. You're no better than that Susan Coldwell, if you ask me. You're both playing with, with power you don't understand. Stealing corpses as research for her secret project. You trapped me in a coffin. Clearly we had some trust issues. Unless specified, the dead don't belong to you, or me, or science. On a planet surrounded by death, the dead deserve respect. If we don't, how could we ever respect life? Now you're getting it! Okay, and no platforms, nothing to grab. I guess the only thing I could possibly do is... <gasps> Ooh, okay, Hanu, Ooh, you got this. <gasps> In here, you're a siren. In here, you can... If I wake up, I'll probably wake up. 
All humans, no matter how high-minded, are the same. You're all selfish, vainglorious, incapable of stopping the pain all around you. True. But that makes us capable of something else. What's that? Compassion, reflection, and ultimately, change. with this device as the solution. So obsessed with solving the universe's pain, I didn't even see the pain right in front of me. over this woman. She, or what's inside her, is the most valuable object in the universe right now. Far more valuable than you. Do I make myself clear? Clear. Uh -huh. I am going to the bridge to determine why in the seven hells somebody prematurely launched our ship back into space! How you pistol whip? Really wish you didn't demonstrate with me. I knew. Free, I'm free, free at last. Yippee skippy ki yay, mother truckers. Leave, lady, alone. Scanning. You are so lucky. I don't know your face or name. I don't need a name to knock this one's head off. You want a jet day? Whoa, 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 whoa! We can both come out of this ahead. There's gotta be something you want, right? Lady... My sister? Pick something else. Sister? Yeah, yeah. You jackasses weren't holding me prisoner because I'm important. You just knew Anu wouldn't want anything to happen to her brother. Laugh it up! Octavia doesn't matter! Ha ha ha! So funny! Uh, something you want to talk about, Ock? Ok? Then you can care about her from back there, friendo. My sister's gotten the crap kicked out of her enough. She doesn't need anything else. Brother? Friend? Friend? It would appear this TDR guard is previously acquainted with Anu. And may also be a psycho. Not psycho anymore! TDR guard now! Why would a psycho bandit sign up to be a corporate foot soldier? Free gym membership! Great! Awesome! Let's get her out of here! Great! Awesome! Came here to rescue her also! Thought you were trying to kill her! Glad we clear up comical misunderstanding! Yeah, not that comical. It was a little bit comical. Oh no! <sighs> you can help me up now. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, oh, headache. <clears throat> uh, I know this isn't a great time, but I sort of shot myself in the leg. You sort of shot yourself in the leg? I shot myself in the leg, all right? Why did you shoot yourself in? Can you just heal it, please? Give me that zap zap.
Thanks, Bunches. Hey, don't judge. Remember that time you shot Louis? I still feel bad about it. Uh, Louis, can you please forgive me for that? Very well. Initializing forgiveness program. You are forgiven. Wow. <laughs> I forgot how much better a non-shot leg feels. How do you two know each other? Long story. Short version! We are friends! Maybe more! Very will they, won't they? I see. Have you two had, a uh, mouth to mouth? No. Why? No reason. You were comatose for a while. Is your brain malfunctioning? I had such a cool dream. I was a siren. Now, headache. That is not healthy. Anu? Anu, wait. Who are we dealing with? Is it Anu or that shard spirit thing? Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? <laughs> Stapleface knows this feel. We can't actually measure human consciousness. There's no way to be sure. Arguably, the fact that I can self-identify means I do exist. But you know, even low-level AI. Yeah, okay, it's you. We get it. Did it feel like we... Yeah, we're in space. Black starry sky down! Oh, launch. As in launch the building into space, not... <laughs> not the app. What? How was I supposed to know? Who puts a button like that on their Echo Dex? Okay, okay, that's on me. I'll take the L. But I can fix this. There's definitely an unlaunch button here. And Viola! New idea. We all find escape pods. Immediately. Don't have to tell me twice. I hate space, and I hate this corporate dump. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Hilarious bit. Woman who won't leave. <laughs> so good. Okay, let's go. We can't. Why the hell not? We sure as mother can. You find an escape pod, get in the escape pod, and escape. At this range, Susan can fire her doomsday weapon at Promethea. We've got to stop her. We're the only ones with a chance. The tiniest chance. Still a chance. If we do this, can I still punch Susan in the face? Yes. Promise? I promise. I also promise. Uh, thanks. When you say doomsday machine, A larger, more powerful iteration of our own device that some cool, but not intimidatingly cool scientist kinda, sorta, tricked me into creating for her. A big, giant, humongous, super gun. Super device. Actually, yeah, in this case, it's a gun. Okay. Okay. How do we stop her? In Atlas, we operated our highest level weapons from the ship's bridge. And also control ships for life path! Did your training leave fun fact in staple base brain? Our mission is clear. Storm the bridge. Kill or knock out Susan. And return these shots where they belong. It sounds like the perfect plan. Except the bridge is the most fortified section of the ship, defended by swarms of TDO guards, drones, turrets, exploding toilets, and filthy data ports that lie about their age and don't text you back. I'm just guessing about the last one. Don't worry about getting to bridge. Stapleface has plan. I hate this plan.
What's uh, going on here? but also friends. Wait, so they're your prisoners, each other's friends, and you have direct orders to take them to the bridge? Y yes Okay, move now. Hold her right there. I'm calling this in. Nobody move. We probably should not let them call this in. Now we're definitely calling this in! Emergency lockdown protocols above staple faces pay for Well, I'm out of ideas. It will take sophisticated technology to interface to demagnetize the seal. What about beep boop pep? You know, beep boop pep, your echo decks. You think beep boop pep is a sound for my echo decks? Just use your echo decks! Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I can honestly say this is not how I saw my week going. You and me both. I suppose it'll be over soon, one way or the other. Hopefully a good way, and not the other. I mean badly. I hope it doesn't end badly. Oh, I'm coming in. <clears throat> My shin. Don't spoil it. Okay. But turn on Susan's voice disguise. It. It's a hit and a half. <laughs> oh, Yee Got him. All pages. to call friends. She uses it to make and remake friends. Don't you see? What? I'm still hip. I still get technology. I wonder if I can customize the settings and give it a dark theme. Just use your stupid echo dumper. Friend code scanned. I brought an Echo Dex to a gunfight. Why can't I shoot you? Why can't I shoot you? Your safety is permanently on. I'm a gun that can't shoot! 
Technically, you're not even a gun. Teteor doesn't register you as a weapon anymore. Maybe don't shoot people. <laughs> Enjoy your life as a paperweight. <laughs> now that we're finally about to face the boss of Tedior, I've been processing our friendships. There they are! Anu, get the next door. On it! When I first met you all, I believed you were all disgusting, inefficient sacks of flesh, walking animals with no purpose, other than converting food to feces. Great story, Lee. Fran, close the door! Oh, that's no good. Die, door! Anxiety-ridden corporate chill. You were afraid of your own shadow. Oh, Anu, get the next door. Why do I always get the hard ones? There has to be a weakness here somewhere. I'll find it. Now you're a heroic example to humanity, courageously standing up to evil, even if it means you'll definitely, absolutely die. Goggle, goggle! Why did I just say that? Slay, queen. Magnification. Zooming for clues. Sometimes the best way to find things is to make everything bigger. Well said. <laughs> Why am I talking to goggles? Because a good friend can be right in front of your eyes. Like me. I'm right in front of your eyes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Zooming, enhancing, composition analysis, door composed of 64% door fibers, 35% various door materials, 1% door handle. Not helpful! You try being scanning goggles. Increase magnification! I'm zooming, I'm zooming. That's all you want from me. Zooming, enhancing. Yes! Now zoom and enhance! Zooming, enhancing, magnification at atomic level. Oh, look at all the little door molecules. Can we break through them with hard enough hits? You want to hit the molecules? They didn't do anything! To... Increase the zoom! We need flaws, gaps, inconsistencies, anything! Zoom all the way in! Astanited, approaching maximum zoom. We're zooming where no goggle has zoomed before. Zooming, enhancing, magnification at the quantum level. Warning, things are about to get weird. I've seen weird before. At this point, nothing can surprise 
Timmy? Iridium particles permit him to exist in multiple dimensions at the quantum level. He's trying to say something! What's he saying? Scanning. Pull? Pull Van der Waals force through a quantum state? Pull a particle valent bonds from the door molecules? Pull! The door handle? That was my next guess. The door handle. <sighs> Tell no one about this. I can't promise that. Guys, I just opened the extremely what? difficult what? complicated door. Staple face. You can fix this, right? You can make her okay? I don't know. I, I can try. No, no time. <laughs> time is delicious. <laughs> Bellissima. No. I can fix this. It could be fast. I just need... Come on! Show up here if you owe me! Ark! Oh, we gotta go! Shh, shh. that way. Of course they went that way. It doesn't fork off anywhere. There's no windows or doors. It's literally the only direction they could go. Once again! I feel like you are criticizing me in a high-pressure situation. We will discuss this later, Daryl. You know I'm bringing this up with Eleanor. Don't you bring this up with Eleanor! Son of a skag! Son of a skag! A fluid dynamic thermolock. I I've read about these, but I never thought I'd actually see one in the wild. A fluid dilly what now? This is bleeding edge security. By using a series of hydraulic pumps, the door's lock must be depressurized by balancing a precise volume of liquid at a perfect temperature. It's adjusted by dispensing viscous door fluid from those handles. But with this many variables, the number of permutations is... 4,088,300,031. No, wait. 32. I forgot to round the decimal. This isn't even fair. This is impossible. Pouring frozen yogurt. You kids, stand back. Mama Fran's about to pour the most important yogurt of her life.
self-control in an out-of-control world. And I just made the perfect cup of yogurt. My goodness. You are majestic, Francine. When we first met, early data concluded that you were in the throes of a midlife crisis, sublimating rage-induced insecurities into mediocre desserts. But now, I see you are comfortable and confident, being much, much, much older than everyone else. You were saved by the gunfire! <laughs> I love being in danger with you all. There they are. Just like I said. Someone's gotta close that door! What? Really? this plan is, or where this crazy train is going. All I know is I don't trust that yard. You shouldn't either. I have it under control. The human is special. Have you ever thought about breaking up with that thing? Out of the question. It heals wounds. It brought me back from the dead, for pity's sake. Call me old-fashioned. But I don't love this alien consciousness living in your mind, roommate. It's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Look inside. Do you even know, truly know, where the shard ends and Anu begins? The longer the shard lives in you, the more it changes you. You do see that, right? Of course I see that! I converse with the shard deeply. If you experienced what I experienced, ditch it. Call it an experiment. Life without the shard. Without the shard, we'd be nothing. That's not true. No company, no capital, no future for either of us. We need the shard, and it needs us. Our success didn't come from the shard's healing power. It came from us, you and me. And this will still be here as long as you don't let the shard eat you from the inside. I have a clear shot. Focus. Relax your shoulders. Breathe out and squeeze. You are micromanaging! Lovely. What I'm trying to say is I've learned something from each of you. Last but not least, friend Octavio. Octavio! Louis! You were always important to me. Did you get up? Negative. Sadly, your use for me ends here. That's it, I'm dragging him. Stop. Please. Listen. Because of my programming, I was required to kill. I was an assassination bot. But now, because of you, I can choose to save. I am a protector bot. And you just got L0U13. Grenade! <laughs> day C, day C. Give me your answer. <laughs> Sorry about your friend, but it's nice to see my soldiers can hit something every once in a while. I certainly pay enough for them. 
<laughs> and now you're here, on my bridge, doing what? First attempt at a corporate takeover? A hollow, vainglorious attempt to save the world? <laughs> oh, you possess one of the most powerful objects in the known galaxies. But it doesn't negate one crucial, inescapable fact. What's that? You're weak. Since the very beginning, from the moment you bumbled onto that shard, had the delusion to call yourself a company, you never had a chance. But why? You have a valuable product, capital, smarts, and yet you all fail. So utterly and completely. Why? Because you never had the spine to start a real company. You can't stomach the violence of the business world. No iron ovaries. What hope could you have to compete in the big leagues? <laughs> business lesson one. Your weakness provides me with a competitive advantage. Now, allow me to show you what we call aggressive restructuring. Give it a minute. Congratulations, Dr. Dar. You were right. Your invention has changed the world. They're all... dead. Not all. Some are just mortally wounded. But yes, they'll all die quite soon. Ooh, let's check on them. Breaking news now. They're calling it the Harm Ray. A mysterious blast that's hit our planet, causing Prometheans to die everywhere. More so than usual. Others, ooh, <clears throat> like this reporter, endure excruciating pain before the sweet, sweet release of death. Huh. I suppose there's one way you can still say them. The healing shard in that ticker of yours. You can't cut that thing out of her even if you wanted to. True, I can't get it out of you for my weapon, so I'll just have you in my weapon. Mm -hmm. Never! No, I don't think she wants that either. She's right. It's my fault. We don't let her do this. We can't let Susan win. There's got to be another way. Hunting that big brain of yours. Don't give her what she wants. I don't know this techno computer stuff, but that sparking core doesn't look healthy. Will the weapons core incinerate you? Yes. But think of it as your generous donation toward the healing of Promethea whose life is worth more, yours or an entire planet. Fulfill your promise. Allow yourself to merge. Reunite my other half in your body. You can defy those who resist. I... I can absorb the other shot in the device. A power well earned. You and I have communed deeply. 
What will happen to me? Our combined consciousness will overwhelm your corporeal form. The personality known as Anu will crumble, as well as anything anyone would call your humanity. Total death of the individual. But with that incredible power, you'll restore the planet, destroy the egomaniac, end the pointless corporate war, and eradicate violence for good. I believe that is what your soul has always wanted. Anu, don't talk. Just listen. I know that Shard's got crazy magical healing and the ultimate power to stop Susan, but just... just this giant weapon is modeled after your device, right? If anyone can find a weak spot, it's you. You've got your engineering smarts. I've got street smarts. We could destroy the device together. We can figure out something, right? Right? What about healing Promethea? Anu, you don't have to take on the suffering of the universe! You can trade it for a few more moments on the spaceship. I don't want to lose you to that thing. You know what should be done. Forget the shoulds. Your life affects our life. I do want to help people. And it starts with the people in front of me. <clears throat> no exposed isotopic leaks. <laughs> Just like my own device. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to radiation efficiency. Anu! You're yeah, right. Uh, we can't just brute force an overload. We could... We could... You have a friend in range. What's that? That? <laughs> That's just my state-of-the-art Echo Dex. Think it could be useful? My Echo Dex? How did you get that? I swiped it. Admit it, sometimes it's good to steal. In this very limited, specific case? She's gonna say it. With our lives and the whole galaxy in jeopardy? She's gonna say it! Yes, it's good you stole a thing! She said it! Oh, you said it's good to steal. You can't take it back. <sighs> you have a friend in range. Of course. All TDR weapons are friended on the TDR registry. What? No! TDR registry? That's not a thing. I, I don't see a friend code. Knowing Susan, she made it as hard to find as possible. Stop meddling, you insolent! Ah! Guess you're not so tough without your Echo Dexy mix. Echo Dex! The code's here somewhere. Oh, if only I could reach my go goggles. Activate. Goggles. Activate. Maybe I don't feel like it. You don't feel like it. You've been saucy all night. Zoom, enhance. Zoom, enhance. Now you shout at me and expect. Don't worry, sis. I got this. Power activated. Did you have to throw it at my face so hard? I hit it, didn't I? Zoom straight to quantum view. Affirmative. So saucy. I'm not saucy! Uh, friend code, friend code. Where's the friend code? Octavio, I've got the code. Think about what you are doing. Are you ready? Ready. Enter these symbols exactly as I say them. Taco. Taco. Uh, uh, taco. 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 Three tacos? Uh, yep. 
Uh, and and the fourth symbol is uh, taco. Yeah, it's taco. My kind of code. And doomsday weapon friend, and it worked. Good news, she's non-violent. Bad news, she doesn't know what to do with all that shard energy. All that work ruined! Worst news, she seems about to blow! Don't! Peace out! Yeesh! You turned her face into pizza! Yeah. Do you feel better now? Yeah. You good? I'm me again. Good. All right, you two. Let's get the shard and heal Promethea. Not so fast. Bop, bop, bop. I don't think so. Punch me once, as they say. What is she doing? I think she's... Curveball. Killing herself. Really? Sweet! <laughs> That's very big of you, Susan! You're doing the right thing! I'm not killing myself, you idiot! I'm doing what you couldn't. I'm sealing the deal. To get what I want. I give them what they want. No! I need help. I'll take it.
Help number, help number, help number. Send! There you are. Oh, oh, man! Your call is intergalactic super long distance. You will incur additional roaming charges of $9,785,000 per minute. Do you accept the charges? She sure does. Hello, thanks for calling TD or Hologram customer service. Yes! Please choose one of the following options. No! Please note that our items have changed. I didn't know what they were to begin with. Please wait while we load the choice items. You will die as you live. Clue to your echo decks. Product registration. Billing. Insurance claims. Faulty capacitors. Wrongful death. Animal diarrhea. Representative. It sounds like you want... Sedative. Why would I... Representative? Please hold. That's my Echo Dex. No matter. Another reason to kill you. I didn't quite catch that. Would you like to talk to a representative? Yes! Ah, yes! Your call is important to us. Please hold while I transfer you to a representative. Come on, give me something! How's it looking? Not great! This hold music is terrible! Thank you for calling TDO Hologram Customer Service. I see you on the TDO flagship battle station. On a scale of one to five, how would you rate your experience? I need help! Please hold your echo decks in plain view of the wall scanner while standing on the appropriate floor pad. And I'll initiate the remote reboot. It seems that your wall scanner and flow pad set up are in a state of disarray for ancient cosmic ray damage reasons. You don't say. I can transfer you to the maintenance department. No, 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 no. I'll find a way to patch it up. Uh, can you find a way to fix that floor pad thingy on your side? I'll see what I can do. Make sure to keep that IT guy on the line. We're troubleshooting that on our side. Please hold. Your call is very important to us. Mm. So? Mm -hmm. So? Mm -hmm. So? Mm -hmm. Yourself, so. Oh, yeah. I can do this. And I can do this. And I can give you some of that sauce. Stop this idiocy. We don't know what you mean by the sauce. We don't like it. I see your problem is resolved. If you could take a two minute survey and. Help me keep my job. Now's your chance, F-Dog! Let her rip! Never call me F-Dog. Am I here? You cannot stop! <laughs> I think you got stopped. Chocolate chunk! But, but that's not fair! The healing sword! 
She regenerates whatever we hit her with. So the cycle melts people and she's invulnerable? Traitor. Insignificant. Okay, we can't kill her, so what? We wait till she takes a vacation? That's it? Uh, mm. We send her on vacation. This ship is sporting a gigantic version of your device, right? Of course. The amplifier is functional. The circuits are still intact. Octavio, you're a genius! Embrace annihilation. We just need Susan held in the chamber. Friend, we're sending Susan on vacation. Leave it to me. All we need now is a power supply of Iridium. Oh, that's all? Leave that to me. I'll find something. I'll calibrate and fire once everything is... For Froyo. Okay, then. And I'm just gonna lock you in there, not kill you. Your actions are useless and falling. Oh, no. <gasps> gotcha. She's in. Not sure how long I can hold her. Iridium. Iridium. There's gotta be some iridium in here somewhere. Taking your survey. Decline. I need iridium. All I have to do is destroy my s sweet, premium, VIP CEO, status affirming, Equidex. Hawk, how's it going with that iridium? Hawk, we need that iridium. Yeah. Yeah, I found some. Say hi to Louie for me. Goodbye, old friend. I'll meet you in that big conference call in the sky. Uh! This enough? Barely enough for one shot. Better make a count. Okay? I'm... I'm great. I finally 
forget to ask you, who's the boss? It's a simple question. We know your feeble minds are capable of answering it. The almighty skateboard. The almighty what now? Hate. Violence. Better to die with family than to live alone. Oh, you guys all get me right here. Thank you. For everything. It's one badass way to go down. I'm sorry I won't be able to pay a severance. Dude, we beat the boss! Fuck yes, we did! We are one, as are you. Thank you. One less corporate ass hat, one happy super alien or whatever. That's a job well done in my book. Yeah, <laughs> and we saved the world, maybe the entire galaxy in the process. Not bad. Never know it was us. That's pretty badass. Totally badass. Well, you can tell Barney that he can go screw himself! The cat commits to paying a 10-session package, they're not gonna see any progress. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, want to hear my counteroffer? I slit his throat with a plasma knife and he bleeds like a rat in the sand! That's him bleeding out! How was that? Perfect! Really? Totally! You got personal, answered questions with questions, and you got louder the more you talked. I imagined them naked too. Not necessary, but great. <laughs> ah, keep this up and Octavio Anu Sibling Consulting will be the number one company for all sibling relationship therapy in the Northeast Meridian City area. It's actually Anu Octavio Sibling Consulting. <laughs> That's a mistake on the sign. We're getting it reprinted. And no, we're not. Anu Octavio just doesn't roll off the tongue. Are you serious? We're almost out of daylight. Are we going or what? Changing the subject. Very clever. This is PNN. Promethea, one year later. 
Today is a somber day for Meridian City as we reflect on the destruction done by the TDOR Corporation. Though Susan Coldwell's death was confirmed, details surrounding the crash landing of her ship remain a mystery. Famous entrepreneur turned conspiracy theorist Bivington Bradwick claims Promethea was saved by, get a load of this, a healing spirit. He even claims the explosion shot remnants of the spirit into the sky, leaving a green cosmic trail. <laughs> Healing spirit? Green cosmic trail? Okay, Bivington, I think someone's done one too many hits from the Belcher. Most citizens, however, have opted to get on with the most important business there is, the business of living. Feels quiet without her around. Yeah. It's great. Grating. The silence. It's just so silent that it's loud and grating on the ears. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really weird. Her will insisted that unpaid sexy intern join her in the afterlife, though. Wherever you are, I hope you're less angry. Unless you want to be angry, then be angry. You're probably angry right now. It was all your fault. I'm going to haunt your ass forever. Your ass is super haunted. Okay, that's just tasteless. True, but Fran would have loved it. She's right. I love it. <laughs> Come here. Give me my Agodex! Hey, no violence! It's wrong to steal, remember? Your face is wrong. We're going to the same place. Destroying a doomsday weapon, freeing a cosmic demigod, and toppling a major corporation? Not bad for three nobodies. And a robot. After that, Promethea returned to business as usual. Corporate squabbles, casual murders, holidays with the family. So, any idea where the shard is heading? Not a clue. No one's made any sense of its trail. Hmm. It's funny. This Anu and Octavio. Two siblings who hadn't spoken in years, but ultimately risked their lives for each other. Two halves of a whole. That resonates with you? Oh, yeah. That's the key to this whole thing, isn't it? Uh, wait. What are you saying? I'm saying no one's looked at the bigger picture. It's headed into the Gladius Nebula! Great find, Fiona! 
And she's gone. And she took my wallet? Good. Con artists. 